live from a rusty, radical, rickety, wrinkly, rancid, wrangly rumble hole, it's the Grandma's Virginity Podcast, episode 32. On this week's show, a legendary movie star stops by and attempts to seduce Jackie. Why do you have your hand Hold on, on your forehead? Quick huddle in the, over here. Jackie, what are yeah, you doing? What, what You're blowing it with what? Jack Nicholson. Right. Writer and comedian Jen Kirkman stops by and talks the talk. I will go crazy and kill someone. And but, then, but because they deserve it, right? No, like I'll go crazy and just <laughs> fucking shoot someone. Justin dials into the truth. We were fucking designed genetically by aliens. Jen Kirkman gets confused by Justin's realistic farting sound effects. Oh, I thought that that was so real. Plus, listener email, rapper psychic abilities, and much, much more. So plug into your fun tubes, because here we go. All right, everybody, welcome to the Grandma's Virginity Podcast, episode number 32. I'm Justin Roiland. With me is Ryan Ridley. Hello. And Jackie Buscarino. Hello. And we uh, Energy, energy. Energy. Hi, 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 And we've got a real, real doozy. Real special treat. Real um, fun time for everybody. Special guest Jen Kirkman is going to be... Sitting in, and that'll sort of be the majority of this episode. We're doing things a little differently. Oh, We're, yeah, yeah. Let's address that. Yeah. So, you know, w- w- right now, and for the unforeseeable future, we have no idea this could change in a month. But uh, it's we're rotating between just the three of us and doing, you know, an Every hour. other week will be just the three of us. Do or a show, guest, and then and then the and then the alternating weeks will be us with a guest. Yeah, I thought we were only doing this once every couple of months. Shut the fuck up, <laughs> Justin. We already went down that road. We already went down that road. That isn't very nice, wish. Justin. What did she bait? And, he bait and switch you? No. So he's told me to shut the f up. Oh, 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 yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I stand so by that. do you know that's how he talks to his girlfriend? Yeah, of course. Oh, that's how he talks to mem- all women. Remember that <laughs> night when we were like, "Oh my god, we were in here in the garage," and when we listened to him yelling at her or whatever, and he was like, "Why don't you shut the fuck up, you fucking bitch?" And then we heard that I, loud slap. No, Wait, what? that's we didn't hear a slap. But Wait, remember, hold on. He was Are you serious? Crazily at her. Really? Remember? What? Don't what are you, you talking oh, about? Yeah, Jackie, I remember exactly. Oh, oh I, exactly. I get it. How come? How come you can do <laughs> jokes with Justin, but you can't with me? <laughs> that wasn't really a joke as so much as it was blasphemy and slander. Uh, slander, yeah. Um, and first of all, Jackie, I was trying to, so I one-upped it and said that we also heard him start hitting but her. But that was like, going no. too far. Oh, now, a I listener see. wouldn't you believe that. <laughs> They'd believe the guy who screams and acts crazy might uh-huh. be, get verbal on his girlfriend, but uh-huh. would never be like Can I tell physical. you something? Uh, okay. I'm a docile little lamb. I guess lamb. Jackie and I don't have... T- in good improvisation chemistry. Stupid idiot. I'm a docile little baby when it yeah. comes to women. <laughs> yeah, right. I he handle is grody. Yeah. I Listen, talked about that. I'll tell you, I do. There is a limit that I'll hit where I will explode and rage, mm-hmm. but I've never hit a girl, so at least give me that. Have you ever kissed a girl and you've liked it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so I, I just want to say something because have you I, ever hit a man, Jackie? Have I ever hit, hit a man? Hit a man? Yeah. yeah. Have you? Yeah. Have you hit a man? You mean like punched? Yeah. Yeah. Or slapped or fucking hurt um, physically. So mad. Have you ever physically dirty attacked a dog? Yeah. A man? Yeah, like in a re- you're in a relationship. <laughs> yes. Right? Oh, in a relationship? No. Yeah. No, 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 no. 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 I was like once or um there You've are... never in a relationship fucking Well, I haven't scratched. been in any relationships except for really one, but And you I never know. fought physical? Oh, once I I tried to rip out his earrings. <laughs> okay. Well, that that's counts. Counts. That's abusive. Yeah. yeah. That's, um, that's it wow. did wh- how far that's did you horrifying. get? He grabbed my hand. It was like this incredible Hulk. Uh-huh. And then you guys fell on the floor and, and just. Did it. Did you really? I don't know. Gross. Okay, Ryan. look. Uh, I, I want to just mention something that a lot of Wait, our listeners. Did we clarify, by the way, what we're doing is every other week we're having a Here, guest. Let me, and then let's we're spell doing... it out for the, our retarded. Let's spell I it out for our retarded it. listeners. Listen to me. This episode's going to feature Jen Kirkman, the pr- predominantly a long, meaty, juicy interview with Jen Kirkman. And preceding that will be what you're hearing now. Following it, listener email. <laughs> Next week, you're just going to hear the three of us. <laughs> the week after that, you're going to hear uh, an introduction followed by a long interview and then listener email. The week after that, the three of us again. Jeremy, rewind that. I don't understand. Oh, <laughs> oh Jeremy. <laughs> 
Um, no, it's the guy he's talking. I know, but I, I feel bad for Jeremy having to hang out with that guy. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Uh, he's okay. <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, no, I just want to I want to bring this up because I think a lot of our listeners were hit by this, just like I was. The whole world was hit by this. Like a ton of bricks. Can I tell you what it is? What? And you'll look at me and you'll go, hmm, that's what you get. Hmm. That's what you get. What? Well, my credit card information Ugh. and my password information is a password I use for a lot of things was stolen. This sounds like a special Stole? special special report. My name's Jerry Smith, and I'm just here to report the PlayStation Network was hacked by an unknown people, and they took they stole everybody's credit card information and password information. So. That's it for today. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Hello, so, Cleveland. Okay, so now, Justin, that you got that report, what do you want to talk about? Well, I was one of the affected. First of all, are you shocked? Kind of, yeah, because, you know, what kind of world do we live in? You know, here I thought I was safe, spinning my Jackie, PlayStation points. Uh, how much do you care about this? Zero. Okay. Zero percent. You don't care about a man's identity that was stolen? My identity it's to was everybody. stolen. everybody. I mean, this is the most... This is the most boring topic. It's worse than do pigs do or do people. Do 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 do. This it's just worse in, than aliens. Uh, Jackie's fucking level of interest skyrockets when Justin informs her that uh, PlayStation Network is... Who uh, cares? Owned by Franco, please, Michael Franco. Listeners, the actor. please write in if you care about uh, right. credit card hacking. Why? I don't even understand. Wait, why does PlayStation have your credit card information? Because I log in and I buy fucking PlayStation <laughs> points. What? I don't get it. Oh, if you buy a PlayStation points, you can buy a video game off the internet and download it off the internet. Digital what downloads. What could be easier? So it'd be like if iTunes hacked my Brick credit card? Brick and mortar be yeah. down. Or not oh. iTunes. It'd be someone else hacking iTunes. Yes. It's like if oh, you, right, right, it's right. Like, it's like if you, somebody hacked iTunes and got every Man, fucking- Man, that's pretty awesome then. So somebody yeah, hacked into score. your PlayStation games, yeah, your video somewhere games. Somewhere somebody's drinking wine and going, are we right. are awesome. <laughs> I love this those This is like people. out of a movie. It really is. There, someone's writing a Genius. screenplay right now. I am right is, now. Is Listen to my biggest, keys. Is it the biggest hack that's ever happened? I don't know, but I think maybe. Really? I mean, well, I it's can't. It's like a jewel heist. I can't think of a bigger one. I mean, they Jackie, literally. what's your interest level now? Now I'm interested. I want to know who these hackers are. I think that's yeah. awesome. Well, is they there brought. A romantic they brought aspect PlayStation Ooh. down to their. Yeah, fucking I bet I'm sure knees. they're really handsome people. <laughs> Computer hackers are always babes. And I, and here I am sitting here just wanting to play my video games online. And then some asshole said, I'm going to steal everybody's credit card <laughs> info. And then I get an email that says, <laughs> guess what? You better do. Here's what you have to do, our dear customer. Number one, change all of your passwords and make them all different. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Number two, get a new credit card issued. And then, you know, not to get into all the. Starting to get tired again. Can we talk about uh, the names me, of the hackers? All right. Me, well, look. Well, this where guy, do they live? This guy's going to. Look, I, I this don't guy, know. They're going to they make out like? uh, with a lot of loot. Before. I hope they do. I, I hope I, they do. I love heist stories. I'm always rooting even for the guys. Even if it's a fat guy in front of a computer. Even for the guys who pull it off and they get the money. And even though they're thieves, I love it. Oh, you must have been creaming your jeans over that. Ew, pit. why do you say like outdated grody phrases like that? Uh, I'm sorry, but that's fairly in right now. Just like Cre fashion. What did you say? Creaming your cyclical. jeans? cyclical. Creaming your jeans. That reminds me of something like from a really bad 80s movie. <laughs> Even though I been... said grody. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello. Well, I think this whole thing is just radical. I say that it's word too. Right. Totally tubular. I don't say Dude. that, but I Drag say radical. This is bogus. Well, what were you going to say, Ryan? She must have been really soaking her panties. <laughs> About that nice. kid who was like 19 who was stealing jets and he was living on the. Oh, on the yes. I remember that story. Yeah, I remember that. So I don't remember it, but. Cute. Yeah, and he was like kind of like a normal looking handsome yeah, kid. Yeah, and yeah. he's 19. Love it. I love it. I love it. I love yeah. it. You talking about that An 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 Andronardo <laughs> DiCaprio <laughs> movie? <laughs> no. The kid who just was. <laughs> Howard that's, Hughes that's story? That's Catch Me If You Can. Yeah, Catch Me If You Can. That oh. guy? That's from I, I thought it was Howard 60s. Hughes story. When he was oh, no, he's flying different. planes. No, no. Oh. The Catch Me If You Can guy flew planes too, I thought, right? Didn't he? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was like, a, he, he pretended to be a pilot. Is that who you're pilot. talking about? No, no, no. This but kid... you like that guy too. I love him. Oh, man. Oh, my God. I, I bet went you, crazy you... when I saw the Titanic. The stupidest movie in the world. Who do you want to bone most? Jay Ray Franco. Li Ray Liotta from God Goodfellas. <gasps> oh, God. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, hello, oh, coked nurse. up. <laughs> All right. 
I like or, him. Or, or, or God, who else I is there? I love hypotheticals. Um, <laughs> Al Pacino jealous. from Godfather. Oh, oh Jesus, oh. God! Okay. Oh, baby. <laughs> who else or is Christian, on this roster? Christian Bale from American Psycho. Oh, Oh, sorry. You blew my like, ears. Yeah, I think I just um, broke everything. I, uh, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe you're even. <laughs> yeah, all what, what is this? The Oprah, from... Oprah fucking prize episode? <laughs> I know. Oh God. Okay, so we've got Ray Liotta. <laughs> we've uh, got uh, uh, Adam okay, Sandler. Uh, we've got. I don't know. Shit. <laughs> Ray Liotta, uh, Ad- uh, 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 what, what is it? Christian Bale Christian from Bale. Psycho uh-huh. or Psycho. Al Pacino. Who literally for... slaughtered women in that movie. Um, oh, that's a toughie. Yeah, who, really? who would you, who would you uh, let rape you? No. Oh. No, let's really fucking <laughs> put a twist on it. Who who would you let rape and beat you and throw You're you down a flight of stairs? You're turned on by Christian Bale from American Psycho. He's so cute. It doesn't matter. As that what character, is, Patrick I know. Bateman. I know it's wrong, but he's still. You know really he would. He, wouldn't he kill her though? Wouldn't yeah, he? That's yeah. The, he would kill yeah. you though. Then I don't want to be killed. He's like a black widow. So if you said Christian Bale and like um, uh, you know, the fighter. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh no. My God. That's not what he said. <laughs> Al Pacino in The Godfather or Dog Day Afternoon or Serpico. Okay. Wait, isn't Dog the Afternoon the one where he's gay and he's... Mm. <laughs> That's one of my favorites. He's so cute in that movie. What about Jack Nicholson? Oh, my God. When, in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest? Or, yeah, Easy No, Rider. what about in Bucket oh. List? <laughs> Jack or Nicholson in Bucket List. Yeah. Sure. I think Jack Nicholson, no matter what age... Even if he's... he's even, of... like, even, like, a week before he dies, which, God yes. forbid... You mean what I perform would you course? Would you just fucking fuck the shit out of him? Suck his Bro, dick? God, let him just... come all over your God. face? Justin. Well, I mean, come on, now. yeah. <laughs> You're being so like, huh? gross. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to you, make you, a point you like here. Describing it. No, I like. Yeah. I'm making a point. I'm, I'm, I'm painting a picture for what? our listeners of what you'll be doing with a decrepit, <laughs> pair, uh, fucking senior citizen. I bet, you remember in Godfather. You know, oh, the wor- on okay, Mike, paint, paint the worst picture. Like I'm it painting can't just, a, It can't just be that it's Jack. No, it's Jack Nicholson. Here's what I know? do. Like, it I has take. To be something. I'm taking reality and I'm communicating it to people, where you're taking <laughs> reality and you're miscommunicating it <laughs> by going Jack Nicholson from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I no. bet. Well, I bet. I bet you want to be banged like James Conn banged that woman in that scene in Godfather, like up against the oh, wall. I read about him Jesus though. I told you Christ. in that book about prostitutes. Uh-huh. He he is he. Why are you booing that? I didn't do it. <laughs> that was the phantom sound effects ghost. I don't think about things like that. Uh-huh. Like, I think about, like, oh, my gosh, I wonder what we would talk about. Like, I wonder where we would eat dinner. I wonder what we'd talk about. Yeah. yeah the, he, here's what you talk about. Uh, uh, Jack. Jackie, uh, Jack. why don't Wait, you, you suck my to be? dick? Who are you supposed to Any be? Any one of them. And I'm Jack Nicholson. Oh, don't do impersonations. <laughs> Jackie. It's so terrible. Jackie. It's so gross. Uh, hi, I'm your waiter tonight, uh, Mr. She'll Nicholson. She'll have the ch- chicken suisse. I can't even play. Uh-huh. So he's so stupid. Okay, Mr. Nicholson. And what will you have tonight? <laughs> I'll have Fettuccine linguine. Oh, that's oh. linguine. That sounds. So, that's a great choice, Mr. Nicholson. All right, um, you two, uh, here's some complimentary bread, and, oh. and uh, uh, I'll be right back. Are we at Olive Garden? <laughs> so, Jackie, please tell me you're an animation. Oh my God! You know what? Abed did an impersonation of Christian Slater last uh, night. It was a stand-up comedy. Uh, uh-huh. And it was like Jack Nicholson. Uh-huh. So you guys are very similar in your what? comedy wow. stylings and your comedy Cutting jokes. that out. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Go Why ahead, would let's we hear cut it. it out? So Jackie, tell me. It's the Jackie, same thing. Jackie, stop derailing. He, Jack Nicholson on your date is asking you a question. So Jackie, I understand. <laughs> so I understand you work in animation. Mm-hmm. Jackie on mic, please. You're yes. a line producer. What's that all about? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know this what you This is how you, have you your, would... Why do you have your hand Hold on, on your forehead? Quick huddle in the, over here. Jackie, what are yeah, you doing? What, you're what blowing it with what? Jack Nicholson. It's all right. It's all right. I He's know him. He's given you I everything he has. Bro, who else is him? My cell phone. All right, all right. Laura I'm back. Flynn okay, Boyle, I'm back. Angelica Houston. I'm back. I'm oh, back, oh, Jack. Okay, okay. Oh, all right. Hello. Did you know we sort of have the same name? Jack Nicholson, I have a question real quick. 
Uh, I'm sorry. I couldn't help but overhear your discussion with Jackie and her mentioning that you both have the same name. Yeah. Do you think maybe that means when you guys are boning later, you'll both oh. be screaming the same name? Yeah, that's right. Good one, young Justin. Oh, Can how you did you know someone, my name? I'm you just do a someone random. Someone else? I, I mean, Jack Nicholson. If I'm at dinner with him, I'd rather pick Robert De Niro. Go for it. I'll be all the. Okay. Uh, oh, hello, no, no. it's me, Robert De Niro. <laughs> hey yo. Hello, that's Al Pacino. Hey yo, <laughs> scent of a woman. Hey yo, Mr. Pacino. I'm blind, Mr. Pacino. No, it's oh. Robert De Niro. <laughs> You're confused. <laughs> Hey yo, who is of this? A woman. Ooh, hello. Who is this lovely woman that you're with? Oh, uh, this is <laughs> this old tired, beat up, pert, uh, leathery <laughs> thing. Her name's Jackie. Hey yo, <laughs> scent of a woman. It's me, Robert De Niro. Oh my God. Hello. You know, it's funny that he's doing this impersonation because that uh, is. That mix-up happened the one time I went out with my friend's little sister to a bar because I was like, I, I'm really going to try to make an effort to just, you know, not stay at home. Uh-huh. Of course, she always goes out and meets tons of guys, and uh, she met this group of guys. Hot. Yeah, she's really cute. And she met this group of guys, and the, uh, all they did was talk about, like, they're just stupid idiots. And she was like, yeah, I love gangster movies, and blah, blah. And they're like, oh, I did to love Goodfellas. And in my head, I'm just like, oh, yeah, well, who fucking doesn't love, say they don't, you know, they love Goodfellas. But then they're like, Oh yeah, I love uh, Al Pacino. Oh, that's my boy. That's my boy. I loved <laughs> oh him God, in Raging Bull. Mooks. And I was like this. What? <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 that's not that's not Al Pacino. You're confusing them. They're like, yeah, Al Pacino, that's my boy. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Yeah, and, and I was like, no, no, you got it confused. And then they went on and on though, confusing roles that were like so obviously like Al Pacino roles and and mixing it up and saying, oh. That's Robert De Niro, and I was minutes. trying to, uh, yeah, I was trying way. to like call them out, and it was just, it was the stupidest thing. <gasps> Hello? 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 Hey, Jackie, it's uh, me. Uh, the real Jack Nicholson? The real Jack <laughs> Nicholson. Oh, wow. Mr. Nicholson, I am. S- did you hear my impression of you? Yeah. <laughs> what did you think of I it? I thought it was really good. <laughs> oh, Almost you. better than me. The real Jack Nicholson. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. You know, it's funny, <laughs> Ryan. Yeah. I was going to do a movie, uh-huh. <laughs> and I almost thought I might send you in place of me. <laughs> Have you ever heard of <laughs> trying to be in two places at once? Sure. Ryan. <laughs> Yeah, you want to try to... Anyways, what? Jackie. Yep. Hey, I'm here, baby. <laughs> I'm 86. I want you to t- t- climb onto my g- greasy, disgusting cock. It's me, Jack Nicholson. <laughs> Jackie's reacting much differently, I guess, to the real Jackie. Not to be confused to with Oscar the Grouch from <laughs> Sesame Street. <laughs> Little inside Hollywood secret. I'm the voice of Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> I go by a pen name. What is it? I, I can't tell you right now. Uh-huh. Do you want to take Jackie that, out to dinner? Oh, Jackie. That person who writes Harry Potter? J.K. Rowling? <laughs> Is what that about really her? you, Mr. Nicholson? No. Jackie, <laughs> let's go hop in my name. private jet and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Jackie, okay. you're pretty charmed by this Jack Nicholson. I like this Jack Nicholson. Yeah. This right. guy's good. <laughs> 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 He's a little incontinent. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, well, that was him leaving? As, as quick as he had arrived. Wow. He's off. The real Jack Nicholson. I hope he comes back. So we're here with Jen Kirkman. Hi. Are we actually recording right now, Justin? Is yeah. this part of the podcast? Yeah. All right. Hey, Jen. Hi, guys. <laughs> Yay. Hi. Thanks for doing this. Let me ask you something. Yeah, I'm going to clam up. 
No, 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 no. no. Okay. You've done it. How many podcasts have you done? Four million. I love to go on podcasts. That's Can crazy. I ask you a question? Because I no. we feel very self centered about our podcast. Uh-huh. Have you done podcasts that you thought were lame? Like you're sitting there the whole time, you're like, this is fucking um, horrible. These people. Because that's what you're gonna feel like today. <laughs> no, yeah. I don't feel like that today. Because you guys, not are my yet. Friends. Well, give us a time. Give us a second. <laughs> yeah. No, I. Well, I don't want to say because then they'll. No, no. You don't have to say the names. No. Um. Well, it's one I did just once, and mm-hmm. I. It's been years and years and years, and I. I actually don't remember the name. So even if you wanted it, mm-hmm. I. I felt a we'll little lame. It just be. No, it's like, I just because they were talking about topics I wasn't really. I didn't really know about, and mm-hmm. I was just like. I don't have anything to say about Star Wars, really, so let's just move oh, on. Oh, man. Uh-oh, Justin. <laughs> Sorry, Justin. <laughs> Fuck, there goes my whole... No, what I don't give a you? shit about Star it, Wars. It was like a podcast about movies, oh. but it, it's on Doug Loves Movies. It was like... But they were nice, and they were like, we don't really have to talk about movies the whole time. It's just a segue, but then it didn't segue, and I was like, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I don't uh-huh. know what that... I just kept saying, I don't know what that is. <laughs> God, did they ask you <laughs> wow, about Wow, dynamic. Sean? Like probably like that. Well, probably <laughs> Jackie hates fantasy do you hate like all fantasy I hate fa- I like like a Woody Allen movie like keep me in as what? much reality as yeah, possible I don't like fantasy either so do you like Sleeper no the, not those kind of Woody Allen movies like uh-huh. Hannah and her sisters in Manhattan yeah, yeah, yeah. and Husbands and Wives the Dark and Crystal <laughs> the Dark Crystal by Woody Allen I like that's an Labyrinth. example of like keeping you in the most reality possible a Woody Which Allen movie kind of not like, yeah. but I mean I like like I like like adults talking and figuring stuff out yeah mm-hmm. like I would Boring. rather watch <laughs> the only <laughs> fantasy I like is like Pee Wee's Big Adventure that's I like not that. fantasy well it's not real <laughs> I'm talking like Game of like Game of Thrones coming out I, on HBO April seventeenth. I don't know what Thank that you, is. HBO, if, for if you saw something that looked like money. Labyrinth or Star Wars, no. or were you like, well, I always yeah, say, what is that? I, I always say if it has swords, yeah, or ugh, wizards. I'm not, uh-huh. I'm not interested. No, mm-hmm. <laughs> you guys always pick on me, but see, yeah, no, I know most women are like you, Jackie. Well, yeah. Yeah. it's not yeah, a surprise. Like sci-fi, we have different fantasies. fantasies. Uh-huh. What are your fantasies? Getting fucked by a Nazi ghost. Oh my god. Jackie is. Let me explain something, Jen, because there's two kinds of guests we have on the show. There are people who who know our podcast, uh-huh. uh huh, and and which can be bad because then then they kind of try to like force things too much, like as oh. far as under, you know. And then there's the ones who are totally unfamiliar and they don't know Jackie's personality, and they well, you know, have some idea what Justin's like, of course. <laughs> and they sit here, and when people kind of behave a certain way, their guests that don't know the podcast are sort of a little confused and thrown off. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I don't feel thrown off. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> I'm not familiar. <laughs> so uh, we we have a history with Jen Kirkman that uh, only 1% of our listeners know about. Mm-hmm. And that is we all worked on Acceptable TV together. You remember that, everybody? VH1. Yeah. You don't think that your listeners know that? Um, you know that do. show? It's such Some a good show. Them. They're like 14 years old. Yeah. Though. Well, they should get into it because it's like. Check it like out. Did, did anyone asset. know? Did anyone? Has anyone in the last four years like said anything to you about knowing? What well, it I've is? never like gotten recognized or anything. But uh-huh. I, when I tweeted that it was like on sale on Amazon, people were like, "I fucking love that show." I didn't really? Know you were on it? Yeah. First of oh, all, weird. I didn't know that it was on sale on Amazon. Number one. Number two, you I can... certainly didn't do any part in promoting it. Well, I was like, I'm not making any money off this, but I yeah. want you guys to see. Like, well, this you're thing making I'm like proud four cents. Yeah, do you ever get your four cents every checks? year? I have like. 15 one to two cent yeah, checks yeah. That, from like 20 to 2009 that I haven't uh-huh. deposited yeah. and I feel like yeah. it's bad energy to not like it's like saying no, 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 no. To money take those what? take those <laughs> there's a bar on uh, oh residual. yeah take them there you get a free drink so how many what, do you are have? you serious 15 yeah. 15 so there's 15 free wait a minute drinks. wait 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 I can take my one cent except yes. for the TV check no matter how old it is and yes just, and do you well I don't know if there's a limit on do they how just old shred it like what do they do no they put it up on the wall I think you have to marker off any important info but they oh so in other words right don't they put so it up actually, on the wall actually I can trade a three cent check for a four dollar drink yeah yeah Whoa. i've heard of this but i don't know i've never been and oh, i actually no. i actually heard it's not around anymore we, you no no it's still there it's, it it's still there yeah i think so is, is there karaoke or something too i don't know i I'll, i haven't been there in a long time i know it's right by that comic shop it's in the same thing I as the whatever it. yeah who cares not the casting office jackie no. at least uh, like sorry, yeah. i know but i didn't want to be smacking my lips <laughs> six feet away from the mic yeah, I'm eating eating a salad. Salad. <laughs> that ryan bought me so, uh, so anyway, so we worked together on Acceptable TV. Mm-hmm. Did you enjoy that experience? You half don't have to worry half. about. It. Yeah, okay, good. Tell us. Be honest. All right. Well, I realized that I didn't like a lot of stuff about acting, like being up at six a.m. and having people poking your face with makeup yep. stuff. <laughs> like in the sense that it was like, uh, if you just shut up, then like, but you have to talk to people and yeah, share, and yeah. it's like. 
I'm tired. You have to be oh, like, like when you're getting your like it's like getting your hair cut like when you're in a makeup chair like you have to like do I have to well, have a conversation no. like that? Getting your hair cut to me is easier. You can just kind of go there and because you're paying someone, so it's uh-huh. like you can kind of just zombify yourself. But when but when you show up to the set, they're all chipper and awake, and <laughs> you're sort of like you you want them you're going to be working with these people every day. Yeah. So you don't want to <laughs> you want to be friendly. you don't want them yeah you don't want them to think you're some fucking asshole. Uh-huh. I totally know what you're talking about. Yeah, I was about. just very tired, and then it was like I was like one of the only people on it that wasn't a writer too, so I didn't have yeah. the same bond, and I had to go home, and you guys are always. Still I was going to ask you about that because now <laughs> I didn't you're like that. you're more you, your career is way more in the writing zone, and right. So I'm trying to gear what happened like <laughs> yeah away yeah from that like wait wait you're trying to get away from writing. Well, that's why I, I left Chelsea lately to go write on a sitcom, and uh-huh. then I came ba- I'm coming back to Chelsea because it's a job that allows me more, like I get to be on TV as myself, uh-huh. so I'm trying to be just a, a, a personality. personality. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? A uh-huh. stand-up that, you know, like a Kathy Griffin or yeah, a Chelsea yeah, yeah, yeah. or a Sarah or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yes. I don't know how the writing thing happened. I guess I'm... I can write, you know. If you put me in a situation, I can probably write for it. Yeah. But there, I don't sit at home alone writing and loving it. Wait, wait. But you also wrote on Chelsea too, right? Yeah, I wrote on there for two years and then left. And now I'm starting. Okay. Tomorrow I'll start again. Writing. Really? So yeah. what's happening with the sitcom then? Well, that got canceled, but I it knew. It did? Yeah, I knew. Already? Before, well, it, it aired 13 episodes. It just uh-huh. didn't get picked up for more. Yeah. yeah. But I knew, like... My job was done in November. Uh-huh. Um, Can we say what the name of the second? Oh yeah, sure. It's Perfect Couples on uh-huh. NBC. My writing job was done in November, and then like it didn't start airing till February. Blah blah mm-hmm. blah. So I had all this time off, and I was doing the road and all this stuff. And then I was like, I kind of miss the like the writing on a sh- show that airs every night feeling. Uh-huh. I was like, yeah. I wonder if Perfect Couples gets picked up. I'll- I don't know if I want to go back. Like the money would be great and all that stuff. Better than Chelsea lately? Money? Yeah, because you're in the union and then yeah. you get bumped up to the next yeah, level yeah, if it gets yeah. picked up and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But technically not better because with Chelsea, you get to it's appear more on the show oh, and, then and you, you get, get money. paid for wait, that. Wait, wait, uh-huh. yeah. On Chelsea, were you writing and doing... And appearing. And yeah, yeah, you're like, yeah. Oh, like I, you're, so you're like on TV. So yeah. you get to be on TV like oh. once a week. Sometimes as myself or sometimes in a dumb sketch yeah. or whatever. I saw like a YouTube thing because I wanted to see like footage of you on there and I saw like some sort of best of Jen Kirkman. Like it's like you're all different. It's like crazy. Like you're different characters. Like definitely doing <laughs> oh, makeup. Rad. Like there's crazy. Co- like, yeah, you're yeah. In a, bo- a lot of different. But the difference you is you don't Saturday shoot Night at 6 a.m., right? Oh. Yeah, you sound like her like aunt. That. Like, yeah. oh, you should be on, you like being funny <laughs> sketches? You should be on that Wait, Saturday Night Wait, did you just Live say show. you should be on Saturday yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, no. I don't do characters. I don't like it, really. Oh, okay. With Chelsea, it's more like the writers, you know, write something, and they have, like, ten minutes to put it on TV, and we, like, haphazardly put on outfits and do stupid yeah. shit but it's okay. not it's not like any you of should be in movies <laughs> but wait wait so but you you're the you stuff that you that love Norman is stand up? yeah yeah so I want a, oh. a job that supports that instead yeah, of yeah, yeah. on the sitcom you're just sitting in the room like a jackass not mm-hmm. touring and not doing anything was it fun the sitcom yeah I mean everyone I worked with was super great and just like you were saying like they were like some of the best writers in the business and yeah. been around forever and they were so oh, nice the guys I worked with told me really interesting stories like all the assholes were like Exiled from Hollywood in the '90s, like all the some of the Friends writers and the or Frasier they end up people. working in cartoons. That's oh, what really? happened. They end up slumming it up in animation. <laughs> well, That's exactly what happened. Oh. One, one like hot shit writer on Seinfeld or Friends is now like a professor at Emerson College. Yeah, and it was because he everyone hated him and wouldn't hire him. Yeah, yeah. That's my theory is that like there's like talent. Like, who who can ever be so talented in, in this town that them being a dick will um not offset that you know what i mean yes. like but it, 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 aside from actors i was just gonna say unless you're the talent <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but even them like look at sean young well look at uh I mean, charlie, sheen. Talent. charlie sheen look yeah. at batman uh, can't, can't remember batman. his name christian, christian bale, bale. Yeah. Hubba, oh. hubba. jackie the fact that he freaks out and screams and yells and beats <laughs> he, his mom like he's still hot beats his you. mom yeah remember that he like yeah. Yeah. better yeah he, are you serious he beat oh, his mom a babe i do like him so a lot. I don't allegedly oh but wait, Which are you good. are you like Jackie? Where like more for Jackie? Like yeah. you can still be attracted to a guy even if he's like a scumbag like that. No, like See, once I have he's a scumbag. Problems. <laughs> like Sean Penn is like the line I'll ride. Like Ooh. he hit Madonna twenty five years ago. But he also clearly is a womanizer who had been cheating on his wife for like who, yeah, Sean that, Penn. 15, yeah, yeah, but he also he's does Spicoli, really good things. Come on, yeah, like that kind of scumbag doesn't bother me. I would just know better than to marry them and expect it to be committed. Mm-hmm. So that kind of scumbag, like that's the line. Like okay, but no violence. Mm-hmm. That I draw the line at violence. <laughs> Maybe they're passionate men. You can be passionate without the Jackie, violence. Jackie, how passionate yeah. are you willing to <laughs> shake? You know what I mean? Shake. Like, <laughs> 
oh, they're so good and bad. They're so passionate. They beat me like every six <laughs> no, months. No, I would never. I would never allow someone to beat me. I don't know, Jackie. Yeah, no, no woman allows it. I am getting pretty it. desperate. Yeah, I think you Maybe might. I need to go hang out down by the twin towers. Why don't you ask <laughs> the people who get uh, uh, oh bailed out? Not what? twin towers, nine eleven. Twin oh, towers like, downtown LA. Like Sorry. looking for parolees. And stuff? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the for prison men? that Abed was in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or jail, whatever it's called. Uh, Who else do you think is cute? Robert Downey Jr. is my ultimate. Oh, he's because really cute. Now, he's someone you could take a tip from. Because Why? he does this great thing where he doesn't dress too crazy, uh-huh. but he has a definite thing. Like, they'll photograph him, like, coming out of a restaurant in Malibu, and he has a great, like, kind of, like, straw hat on with a black rim, but with, like, cool sneakers and, like, a cardigan and, like, a nice outfit. Mm-hmm. But he, yeah. has a, he has little affectations when he dresses mm-hmm. that are just very stylish and unique. Yeah, yeah, But they're yeah. not too crazy Less all at once. Less is more. Yeah, so you could take – you if you Google pictures of okay. him. Do you think that he, that's him or do you think he hires someone? That's what I want to know. Him. Do that's these him. celebrities that's him. have that's him. style consultants? I'm sure he has a, sty- a style <laughs> consultant. <laughs> or a stylist. Yeah. I'm sure he does, but I think that's him. He's – Yeah. Uh, he – you know those people, like they're actors or former addicts. They they can't stop being big and on and mm-hmm. bright. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he he's Who's definitely another? Who's another? Hey. Who's another? I want to know. Oh, um, God. I also like like emaciated little blonde guys, like a Kurt Cobain type or a That's Beck. A good one. Yeah. Oh my God, Beck is isn't he? So cute. Yes, ridiculous. Yeah. Do you like David Beckham? All right, no, what are we doing I here? Don't. I can ask. <laughs> yeah, I like more it's the Dave... first. It's only the second one we've like ever had I like more David Bowie right, than fine. David Beckham. Ooh, that's a good pick. I like Andrew. Bowie or Beckham, yeah. you decide. <laughs> <laughs> Call us at 1-800-SUIT-259. <laughs> I don't know. Suit 259. <laughs> Wait, suit? You're on. Hello. Suit S-U-I-T? <laughs> Call her. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Hello. It's the only Hello. number. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> yeah, here's, wait, who's oh. the caller? Who's the? We got two callers two in the call- line. Oh, caller number like, one, the I like, woman. I like <laughs> <Sorry>. Beckham. <laughs> Beckham. <laughs> caller number two. <laughs> oh boy, oh, we have a real. Your connection's bad, caller. <laughs> oh get... hey, hey Beckham guy, <laughs> Beckham guy. Why don't you tell Bowie girl yeah. why you like Beckham? Mm, I like how he holds the ball. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a man or a woman? Oh, I'm a woman. <laughs> oh, wow. <Are> you... um, <laughs> oh. I have a throat disorder. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh. Jen, there's fart sound effects in this podcast. Why? Yeah. yeah. You know what I wonder <laughs> if... Why? Because they're hilarious. <laughs> Can they help? only add to improvised comedy bits. Yeah, Never. totally. I Never really subtract. like those two callers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I can't They'll help but wonder if uh, one of my... I mean, this is a little inside baseball, but maybe mm-hmm. one of my sound effects will sound like a, a phone caller. And then I don't ever have to, hello. <laughs> no, that's definitely no. not it. Okay. What happened to you after the show ended? Yeah, what happened after Acceptable my TV? My life fell apart. I had nothing going on. For, for, oh for like God. a short, but then you bounced back pretty well, strong. Back. Slow, yeah, slow, slow down. down. Unfold the narrative. Okay, so all right. what happened? Okay. Let's pretend that Fair we don't enough. know what happened to Jen. Fair enough. Well, you know how so. like we didn't make any money on that show. So I didn't, well, I didn't because yeah. I didn't have 10 jobs yeah. like yeah. everyone else. Yeah. And then I had like no savings and I'm like, well, I'll go on unemployment. And then like very little unemployment was available to me. Yeah. Because I didn't realize that, like, you know, I didn't work that long. Uh-huh. Anyway, yeah. so I just was trying to find work, and I started going on the road and opening up for people. That was really helpful. Uh-huh. But like, like who? I, like Paul Tompkins and stuff? No, like Greg Bear and I went and was his opener for a while. Uh-huh. And that was nice, but I would just do little things here and there. Like, I was writing for SuicideGirls.com, like, oh. freelance. and like All those sluts? Yeah. Those sluts? I, I wrote, like, a column, like, a political <laughs> column and <laughs> people were just so mean on there i couldn't even believe it uh-huh. or i can't actually well and and then i was like doing freelance and then i started transcribing freelance and like it was terrible yeah, and yeah, then yeah, yeah. i couldn't even do that anymore and then i had to go back to temping i was temping at age 34 oh in a windowless God. room for jen it was Jesus. i was so I relate sad to you. i was i was, I was tele- like i was on tv yeah, no, no no i was mm-hmm. a telemarketer like a year and a half ago Oh, okay. So you really, yeah. Yeah, because I, I was on that show, and I was, you know, everyone else had shit going on after that, and I was the only one who the bottom fell out for. Oh, I and thought it was just me. No, no, no. It was me too. Huh. And I can't speak for anybody else. Right. But, but then I went to Israel for five months. I moved there. Obviously, blew the rest of my money there, and then partying. And then, um, <laughs> and then I, I came back with nothing, lived with my aunt and uncle, and had it basically, it was like, okay, no more unemployment, no more savings. 
fuck, I have to be a telemarketer. And oh. I was a telemarketer, and then just now, and then last... I wrote a pilot about being a telemarketer. Yeah. <laughs> you did? I, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Wait, no. is that true? No, 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 oh. no, no. But what happened? How did you get out of the windows room onto the set of Chelsea Lately? I was yeah. just like as stupid as my manager calling and going, "Hey, do you want to write for the show Chelsea Lately?" They called over. Uh, they need writers if you want to submit a packet, and I was like, "Yeah, okay." I don't really care about pop culture stuff, but I'll do it. And uh-huh. then I just wrote a packet, and then. Um, Two weeks later, I got the job. I mean, it really was just. Did it change your life? Yes, of course. Of course, it changed my life. <laughs> yeah, I had huge recognition for uh-huh. my stand-up, and uh-huh. then I had money, and then I had not like a lot of money, but I mean, I was fame, like not paying fortune. my bills. No fame, but <laughs> I mean, but people knew enough so that people people will come to shows yeah. now. How many yeah. years has that show been on the air? Moo. <laughs> Since 2007, at least. Okay. And you, you've you been involved since the beginning? or, or? No, like uh, within the first season. Okay. <clears throat> Pardon me. On mic, <laughs> Jen, on mic. <laughs> it sounds like I was clearing my throat for some sinister reason, but I had phlegm, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had phlegm yeah, yeah. in my throat. I, I, really saw, I watched you. I can tell body language, so I can <laughs> tell that was a real... Uh, oh, good. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. can we ask about stand-up stuff? I have oh, questions. go Never. for it, Jackie. I have questions. Here are the reins. Let one of the yeah. callers ask. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that? First time, long time. Uh, I've got a question about stand up. Does David Bowie do stand up? <laughs> Wait, what is that caller? Oops. I was wondering if David Bowie does any stand up. Uh, yeah, he definitely. <laughs> he's, my, he's my favorite. It's oh, not so much a caller as a person who is in a pit in the corner of the studio. <laughs> person in and the I, pit? Yeah. I, I have a nose disorder. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a nose uh, disorder? Because I live in a pit. Yeah. Oh, oh interesting. Is it, what do you eat in the pit? Maybe I, it's that. I have to go now. Wait, no. Oh, see ya. <laughs> person who lives in the pit. <laughs> oh, I have so well, many questions. There's a ton uh, of them in that pit. Well, there's maybe, hundreds. Maybe she They're all lined or up. he will be back. They're all lined up with questions uh, uh, in that pit. This, I like it because we have the people, the guests, the characters who come... And you don't know this, Jen, but there are characters who show up and ring a door and knock on a door of our studio, and they come in. But now we have like the people we have in the, the pit. person who was in the pit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, see, I brought something new. Yeah. I could have yeah, written yeah. on acceptable TV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you could have. God damn it. All right, Jackie, you have some stand-up <laughs> yeah. questions. Because it, it seems scary. <laughs> no, but I mean, I wouldn't do it if it was scary. What? Okay. The, well, that's what scary. The... Not scary for me. Yeah. There you go. Training have wheels you, off. This is all have Jackie. Have you ever had someone get, uh, like? Uh, heckle you from the crowd like I think heckling is like a thing that people think happens more than it does the terrible things happen but it's way it's a diff. it's like, well, like to what's the left the wor- of heckling okay, what's the worst the thing wor- the, what mostly happens that's terrible is people will just start talking amongst themselves at their table so you'll be talking to a room full of people that are just <laughs> total like total disinterest yeah, to- and it's worse just, than heckling it's just, yeah and it's just room tone of like <laughs> clink 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 that's I mean the actual like blah 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 that very rarely happens not because I'm so good it just rarely happens at all in fact it, people heckling is is good because it means that someone's still engaged and they know that there's that their voice will be heard because there's silence when it's just people talking <laughs> yeah. yeah people Yikes. are like well why bother heckling like I'm just gonna I'm more interested in this yeah. person so what happened to you today yeah. but I had a gig like I played Foxwoods Casino last weekend in Connecticut and the late show on Saturday night people were chatty with me but it was in a loving way they were like actually yelling stuff because they out. knew you and they knew you from chelsea lately and stuff some of them and some of them didn't but some oh. of them would just be like that's right people. girl or, some, <laughs> or, or even like not even supportive like i have a joke about masturbation and this one girl was like that no, i don't do I, that's not true and and it kind of made me happy because i was like i can tell you can just start to almost be like a psychic you can tell even though they're yelling something contradictory they're in a good mood and they're ready to play so i went over to her like Excuse me. You know, like, then we had a fun thing. And then yeah. in the middle of my set, some woman yelled, UConn won! And, like, there was, they were, like, she was getting college basketball scores on her well, that's phone. that's not good. No, it wasn't good, but it was actually <laughs> funny because I was like, I'm so sick of my material. I go, let me go over here and see what you guys are doing. Uh-huh. I'm sick of my material. And the crowd, like, as long as it's happening in the moment, I think they're really, like, impressed with that, even though it's really not hard to do you know i wasn't yeah. making up jokes in the moment i yeah. was just being in the moment yeah. which is but they're fooled not because they're stupid but they're, yeah, yeah, yeah they yeah. would never get up and do it so they're like wow so then i was just like i don't know what college basketball is and we did a whole thing and then this guy in the front was like how do you not know what it is he was like distraught yeah and it was like i was losing control but i wasn't and it was fun to like wrangle all them like kindergartners <laughs> and i just kept being like <laughs> talking about like the radiation in japan and how uh-huh. it went, and they would get oh and then i would respond to that i just kept, it felt like an orchestra uh-huh. but that doesn't always happen 
An but orchestra. When, it felt, like, when I was, it it felt not, like I was conducting them. Uh, when has yeah. it not happened where you were just like, I got to just leave the stage right now? It happened recently, like a couple weeks ago, but I couldn't leave the stage because I was technically like showcasing. Contractually obligated. Oh I was like showcasing for some comedy festival that was like, I'm kind of. Was it at the Meltdown? No, it was at uh, the Laugh Factory. Oh boy! And it was like, oh, these people from the Montreal Festival. There, I don't mean it. In a, I'm kind of like. Isn't it kind of loud to I'm be kind of, performing there? Because it, aren't factories pretty then, loud? Yes. <laughs> oh <my> God, especially <laughs> <when> manufacturing <laughs>, laughs. laughs. But it was one of those nights where it was like it was late. <laughs> <laughs> See, he really can't do any wrong. Sorry. Can he? Sorry, guys. I should have had a fart machine. <laughs> it was just late in the crowd, like literally. Jokes have been doing like ten years that are tried and true. Just no laughs. Like I was giving a monologue at like a. <laughs> Cool. And I was like, if I wasn't showcasing right now so the guy can hear my material, I would just get off stage and just go, fuck you, or or like, sorry, or it's not working out, or or dress it. But yeah. you can't, because you have five minutes, you, they have to hear the material they want you to do for the thing. So I was like, this is stu- like stuff like that to me is uh, way worse than someone heckling, because yeah. someone heckling is just drunk, or they'll kick them out right away. But dead silence, or people just talking, especially as a lady, sometimes, 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 crowds will just hear a lady's name and then they just start texting or getting up to go to the bathroom. Oh, my God. It doesn't happen a lot, but it happens enough that you're like, ugh. Stuff like that. Just immediately. Just like, ladies and gentlemen, Jen. Yeah. Oh, boy. I know what Jen's short for. Because usually the host would be like, are you ready for a lady? And I'm like, what is wrong with you? Would you be like, are you ready for an Asian? You wouldn't do that. (laughs) You should change your first name to like, are you ready for a paraplegian? Or or a black person. Say you're a black person. No, no, no. Just do initials like the woman who wrote the Outsiders and stuff. Like J. K. Yeah. J. K. Rowling. Or J. R. Kirkman or something like that. Why? Who's R? Ryan? Trying to get his name. name. Yeah. I saw that. Well, Everything you... should have an R in it. Yeah. Look my, at my ring. My mom will get you a ring. J R K. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right. At first, you'll be like, "This isn't me," and then you'll put it on, and it'll feel just right. You know, I I knew I was gonna regret bringing up the ring. <laughs> you know, the benefit of this podcast is no one could see me and my my accessories. Yeah. If I was ring. dating you and you're like, "My mom gave me this ring," I'd be like, "Tell your mom to stop fucking giving you jewelry." <laughs> that is the weirdest thing I've ever Are heard you in my serious? life. Would you really say that? I don't know. I think so. I'd <laughs> Why be like, did she get you but a you ring? Weren't, that's a good question. You weren't dating anyone then, right? No. Okay, that's fine. No. Yeah, no. Why did she get you that? Because my grandfather, a former guest on the show, if you remember. Mm-hmm. Uh, World War II. Yeah, has a initial ring, and he's always had it. But his Does is it, even more flamboyant. It's like sparkly with oh. like diamonds and shit, and it's gold. Oh, okay. I, yeah, and so I, there's that, sort of that, yeah, there's yeah. that connection there. Oh, and I can think, you get another ring that explains that? <laughs> <laughs> it just goes all the way across yeah. your left hand. Yeah. Come on, this is badass. Yeah. No, Come I on. like that ring. Yeah, look at the font. They'd yeah. be like, Can you I couldn't a movie do poster? it. I couldn't pull it off. Yeah, with you, it was just yeah, my ring. I just, Maybe I'm, a big turquoise I'm really self conscious. Like, if I bought a JR oh, ring. You really pull off that freaking Nintendo shirt well. well Justin I mean, would be a uh, turquoise person. Yeah, oh, totally. What? Like, well, with the bolero with, with the I would big look good in it, you mean? Well, is it that would my suit color? You. I just feel if like that. If a ponytail? Yeah, I feel like if you turned into, like, kind of an eccentric, you would turn into Southwest guy. Santa Fe, Santa Fe, Santa Fe. Who's Southwest guy? Wait. Like, you know, like someone who gets an older vest. guy whose style becomes like, I'm a cowboy, like a modern yeah, day cowboy. Yeah, you have long hair it's and you have really like feather cowboy. It is Santa Fe. Yeah. Yeah, it's well, turquoise. Like artsy kind of. Then I'll do it. Then, I, then, I, then I'm in. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even imagine Justin dressing like an adult even a little bit. Like, well, you know what's funny, I Ryan? Suit, I, it looks like I bought a couple boy, suits. Yeah. Uh, this, was it How this year? How old are you? 33. Uh, 31. Okay, go ahead. Mm-hmm. I bought a couple suits oh. and I and I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna start wearing suits. And like one night, I was like, like what nope. do you mean, like all the time? No, but just like not all the time, but like occasionally. Like uh-huh. I don't know. And then I was like, fuck, like I can't fucking up to do voice it. Voice records. It's like either all or suit? nothing, right? Or yeah. it's like, or, or you know, you, I can't be like a t-shirt and jeans and then you know hang my whole life and then all of a sudden like I show up with all my friends and I got a fucking suit on and yeah. they're like, everyone's gonna just be like. What the fuck is that? <laughs> and then and then I'm gonna be like, you're right, you're right. Uh, I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. Speed home. Change. Always bring a duffel bag in yeah, your yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. You two should do your new looks. Yeah, together. together. Yeah, and that way. And people are so overwhelmed, they don't know. So what they're, they're, they're sort of first. divided. Like they're like, yeah, oh, it'll be great for me on. because I'll have just a regular suit, and yes. then he'll have like the purple suit. The so yeah. I'll always on. be. Yeah. As what? long as yeah, I stay yeah, next yeah. to him, and he yeah. looks terrible. You see what he just did? Yeah, I did like a like, a, like a this, like yeah. a player. Oh, no. What? How would you describe this, Jackie? When you what, see, what you, I cringe you're... too. Whenever he like, when he does psychic abilities, this like hip hop rap character, uh-huh. and Ryan starts going like like doing his stuff, uh-huh. it makes my heart hurt. Like it <laughs> oh, makes me God. cringe. <laughs> your your heart. So I'm like, hurts? No, yeah, your your heart hurts. Don't do it. 
don't do it. Because it makes it her heart hurt. The one, yeah. the one you love does something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what's yeah. funny? My nice whole safe. life, my whole life, I've always worried that I'm going to look stupid and people are going to judge me. Like, I did stand it's up for a while. It's anyway. I know, but, but no one, you know how, like, in your head, you're like, no one actually ever judges you as hard as you imagine they're yes. going to judge you? She does. <laughs> she ju- Jackie judges me as hard as, like, I imagine. Like, you know when you say something, you know the timing's off, and you're like, oh, that wasn't funny. And, like, everyone's kind of silent, and you're like, they all, they're all their inner voices are like, that was fucking lame. Oh, my God, how embarrassing. No, I don't really know that. But you don't know I'm that? I'm kidding. Of course I know that. Okay. So, yeah. anyways, that's Come her. On. That's her. She's the, she's the inner voice. But that's why perfect that's for you. That's horrible. Yeah, that's, that's why you guys should be together. Because it can't get worse I'm, than that. Yeah. yeah. She'll she'll finally put all the voices in your head to rest. Yeah, then you can go yeah. outside and no, not worry about it. Because the voices in my head are like, "Whoa, <laughs> Jesus, Jackie, relax, take that it makes easy you on sound him." Like and then a bully. the then, worst demons in my head are like, "Whoa, Jackie, no, no, no. that's then, good for you." That's then. the demons in your head. That's their first reaction, and then they're like, oh, "Maybe she's right." <laughs> hey, what do you think? I, I think I think maybe she might be right. That's not fair. And then I the know, demons, I demons are head. taking notes. They're like, yeah, "God, like, oh, we gotta man. get better." Yeah, jeez, this Jackie's got some great ideas about how shitty Ryan is. Yeah. I've been told uh-huh. um, in these words that I was merciless. Yeah. That's a horrible thing to say. I'm, I, well, it's I, I also think... why we treasure your uh, involved that on this podcast. Quality. No, you keeps it real, quality. Jackie. Who said yeah. that to you? A, a jilted lover? Oh, no, 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 no. Just a friend. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a jilted friend. Uh, yeah, no, Jackie, um, Jackie is, because uh, she does not, yes, and if she does not think something's funny, Good, or enjoy I like something. That. She's just like, this is fucking stupid. Or she'll literally just turn. If Justin and I are having fun, yeah. she'll just turn and just go through it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> but I don't say in my head, oh, this is stupid. I just like, uh, lo- like you're like, lose I'm not my into concentration. It. Or no, something. you've literally said, why is this funny? Remember the cartoon that the guy made? You literally yeah. ended. Why the, am I not yeah, laughing? Why am I not but, laughing? But I was questioning it. Like everybody else is having oh, such like, a good time. Like I want to <laughs> know you say why it in front of the guy. Uh, no, it was oh. me and Justin, like oh. like doing a little bit that we yeah. do on our podcast every now and then. And Jackie, and I'm dying laughing. And Jackie just like it ends. And there's silence. Jack is. Why am I not laughing? Oh, yeah. but I didn't mean to be a jerk. I, I, I know she did say it with much sincerity I, mean, I like that like, yeah that's I know. funny that's she was because... very sincerely concerned <laughs> why am I not laughing yeah yeah like why am I not smelling that like like literally yeah. one of her senses was fucking that, off that to me is what's the funniest thing about whatever bit that was <laughs> I, I, I want to ask Jen about uh, 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 drunk history because oh, sure. it was kind of a. I mean, obviously. Speaking you, of which, where's the wine? Oh, we're, we, 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 we killed it. Oh, we fuck. it was enough for four glasses. You can't just give me a little bit of wine. Um, oh, so thing. so you you were in two of them, uh-huh. and they're pretty fucking. I mean, obviously, our friend Derek Waters made these, and and they're they're Ask insanely guest. successful. Would you say that those helped you like quite a bit? Or no. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, they didn't because. Do they hurt you? No. Um, <laughs> honest to God, the only thing I've seen happen from it was one time. It, uh, well, actually, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, they have, but but to the the writing job I got on Perfect Couples. Yeah. One of the guys that ran the show saw Drunk History and then knew. Um, oh, this person seems like they might be a comedian. I'll Google her. Oh. Then saw some of my stuff and was like, oh, she might be a good voice for the show. So obviously that's like a huge yes to that help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then a couple ladies that have shown up at my stand-up gigs, same thing. They saw it. They liked it. They Googled me and were like, oh, I like your stuff. But most people think it's this thing in a vacuum where it's not a comedian. It's not a... A bunch of people th- thought I was a historian. <laughs> they thought, oh, that's they thought, awesome. They think that those narrators are historians. Like yeah. somehow that Eric kind of Falconer and Jake. Yeah, Johnson everybody. Or, yeah, everybody. The, the, some I've read articles with, where people are talking about it, and they're like these historians, and some of the comment fields are like, "Oh, she was my teacher. My teacher sucks, or whatever." And it's like, "Oh, weird." And so then, like, <laughs> so it hasn't helped in that way, but I, I, you know, a couple of times I've been recognized from it, but that's it. But yeah. Uh, maybe it has, and I just don't know it. I got a couple meetings off of it, like because it won the jury prize at Sundance oh, last year. Oh yeah! And so, but the people I had meetings with thought You've I was done two, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You, you did Fre- Frederick Douglass. Yeah. 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 That's the one I saw. That's, that's the yeah. one that won the Sundance yeah. thing. And so Derek was getting all these meetings, and then I guess he would talk about me, and then I would get these meetings, and they thought Whoa. I was acting. Oh. And that's what the meetings were about. Like, oh, you can act really. Yeah. People drunk. were like, like, people were like, you're a really good actor. What haven't you done more? And I'm like. 
oh, I don't know. And I'm like, uh, uh, I'm like, I wonder what they think, how they can tell I can act. I'm not saying I can, just from me being drunk on a couch. Like, maybe my personality was big. Or, and then they were like, so how did you, like, get in the zone? And I'm like, oh, I was drunk. And <laughs> nobody knows. And they're just, like, immediately just like, oh. Exactly. They go, really? Like, their Are face you serious? Fa- yes, their face falls, and they're like, it was nice talking to you. Uh, <laughs> pretty much that happened a, a bunch of times. Jesus. Whoa. I would be but like, I mean, they were nice. if that was. They were I, nice about these it. These people are idiots. They're Hollywood love you, babes. That's how oh, I talk about it. That's how Jackie yep. hates Hollywood phonies. Like, the second yeah. Justin and I talk about anything that we're doing in work-related stuff, she's Gross. just like, yeah. It's just Not like, interesting. Yeah. In fact, I even wrote an email <laughs> to, to Jackie saying like, oh, Justin and I are getting more responsible and organized. She's like, gross. Just that. <laughs> just remember? Just that was like enough to turn you off. That huh. seemed too Hollywood. Weird. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I'm getting more responsible. I'm, <laughs> and I was, and the thing is, I was being ironic. Like I was clear, oh. clearly joking. Oh. You know? Oh, I oh. didn't know that. Yeah. It sounds serious to me. So you really were. You really were like, <laughs> like that, that. That hurt your heart. That, yeah. The hearing. But, but any idiot, like if I was, if I was a big like Hollywood producer, and I was like, this girl's magical. She's drunk. Clearly drunk. I mean, are they fools that they couldn't tell that you really were drunk? Well, I mean, ninety five percent of the people don't know. Isn't that weird? Stupid. I've had people ask me. I would too. want you they to star it's... in my next movie Thank based you. on that. Thank you. J- 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 so, but drunk, <laughs> if, sure, if you don't mind. Why not? Because I felt. I mean, the meetings didn't end like that abruptly. But yeah, it was definitely like, oh, okay, well, keep in touch. You know, like that kind of like yeah, yeah, stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, well, like, it doesn't mean I can't. Act. But yeah, I, uh, 95% <laughs> of people think that I don't know why they don't read blah blah. Whoever the narrator is, oh, drank this much. Yeah. And yeah why yeah. they think that's all part of the sketch? And I'm like, yeah. I don't, it wouldn't be funny if you no, weren't actually. Because I'll yeah. tell you why is they probably didn't even watch the whole thing. Some other love you babes was like, oh, honey, yeah. you got to check out Drunk History. It's oh. the next big thing, <laughs> and nobody really sits. <laughs> that's a great point. Yeah, and and and, and cares about. Yeah, that's a good course. point because they they probably go, oh, Sundance Drunk History. Oh, she must be acting. Yeah. You know what a lot of people do too is they go, how did you memorize that script? You're so drunk. I go, it's not a Stupid. script. It's like. like Ever seen a reality show? My friend just put a camera on me. I went like, "There's no script." Well, here's a question: I have. Are you were you really passionate? Did you did you research? Well, clearly she was. Yes, I know. But did you Derek research says, it? Yeah, Derek says get something you're passionate about. Yeah, but so you were already passionate about the Frederick Douglass. No, thing? what was interesting was he said maybe you can do like a women's rights one, uh-huh. and yep. all the women's rights stories that are out there are very boring. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure there's great ones, but because it's women's rights, no one fucking writes anything about them. Mm-hmm. So I was like reading all this book about all these famous women that did all this stuff, but it was written so dryly. And Frederick Douglass's name kept coming up. Like before he got into civil rights, like black and white stuff, he mm-hmm. was a huge women's rights guy. Hmm. And that's, I was like, I'm into this guy. I mean, I'd heard of him in the Lincoln-Douglas debates and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. But I was like, oh, I'm super passionate about him just as like kind of like not this is a bad example, but like the Michael Moore of the time. Like I'm into everything. I'm I'm yeah, making any mm-hmm. justice. I'm making quote documentaries yeah. with yeah. him. It was writing books mm-hmm. and, and being an orator about everything. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's what got me interested. And then what I thought was so cool was that Lincoln like let him I mean, that's pretty wild to have a black guy when mm-hmm. there's still slavery coming to advise you. I thought mm-hmm. that was just incredibly interesting considering how weird it was that we have a half black president now like it's still like yeah people can't handle it yeah Yeah, so i was like i know lincoln didn't really free the slaves and stuff like that and he didn't even really think it was that bad but it was interesting that he was just like i really will listen to anybody justin what do you have to say about this because you're a big frederick Douglass. well yeah he you are well he no hold on (laughs) i feel the same way about frederick Douglass. doesn't care about anything like any book or anything he's ever interested in is like Related to ga- video games or whatever, but then there was a time when he had this Frederick Douglass book, and suddenly he was the, so was it passionate a girl about that slavery. Got you into it? Was it yeah. a no. girl? Or, oh no, a special. How did you get into it? It was a girl named the History Channel. <laughs> it wasn't my drunk history. No, no, no. The, actually, the the funny thing about it is, I had seen your drunk history like a like a way before, and then I saw this special on the History Channel. It was like an hour long special, and I and I was just like. I think just the way it was produced, it I, it felt like I had never heard about this guy, even uh-huh. though you had already taught me about him on Drunk History peripherally, mm-hmm. and I completely <laughs> forgot. <laughs> and obviously the tone was so different, and um, I was just fascinated. I was like, holy shit, this guy's fucking amazing. So I bought two books off of Amazon. They came in the mail. I started reading them. And then I and then Derek Waters has always been sort of asking me like, "Hey, I'd love you to do uh, oh, drunk you'd history." Be great. Oh, yeah. So God. I was like, and I never really because, had anything. Yeah, I would. No, 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 no. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. I just meant like, you what, what other it. what other ways are? To- 
I'm I don't kidding. know. I was. You I, meant like yeah. Yeah, I yeah, would yeah, love yeah. To. yeah. Uh, and and so like, I, I I completely totally not associating the two things. I was like, yeah. I called Derek. I'm like, I finally have something. I'm really excited to t- to talk about. He's like, what is it? Frederick Douglass. <laughs> you idiot. And then yeah, I know. And then he's like, uh, yeah, Jim Kirkman already did that one. And I'm like, oh my god, you're right. That's how I, that's Holy how it got in your head. Shit. It laid there. So a weird. Seed. The, the other one I want to do is, like, way too complicated. It's Woodrow Wilson and the fucking Federal Reserve <laughs> Act of... Oh, there you should. That's I great. don't think that's too complicated because Derek will say, just pick one moment that you can see as a scene. Like, mine was the, the, based around... The Jekyll around... Island meeting yeah, would be of amazing. Course, yeah, that's of what course. mine was based around the... Uh, the, the, the meeting between... The meeting, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then the walking stick. Thing. Yeah, yeah. So uh-huh. you, you can totally do that. Uh, well, we'll see. I, eventually. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. He's not doing them that I know, often anymore. I know. I don't anymore. think he is... They're he's so moved good. on. He's done. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure they'll do more, but he's gonna move on to the serial killers ones that I suggested. Oh, really? Oh, that would be too scary for me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're for not Halloween, you're, maybe. You're not obsessed oh. with serial killers, like mm-hmm. most women, for some reason. I know most women. Re- no, what I'm is a- with that? Because I'm afraid that I'm gonna turn into one. Like I don't like anything murder. Turn into yeah. a serial killer. Yeah. What do you mean, turn into one? Like, like you'll, you'll you'll read it. You kind of go. Like, People have fears of being yeah. killed. I have a fear of killing. Oh, what? Interesting. What do you mean? I just have a fear that, and this is, I'm not, this is something I've talked about in stand-up. I'm trying to say it conversationally, not my act. But I really do have a fear that I will go crazy and kill someone. and but, then, uh, but because they deserve that, right? No, like I'll go crazy and just <laughs> fucking shoot someone. Like, like, do you have a gun? No. Oh, well, All right, then. here's a story that I heard. Okay, a couple of years ago, I went to the, it was like six years ago. I went with this girl I was hanging out with at the time. We didn't really hang out that much anymore. And she's like, I'm going to go to my, we're going to have a book club, book club, whatever. So we go to this, uh, this other woman's house. We're all having book club. Mm -hmm. And this woman is like two weeks ago, this guy, she lived in this nice neighborhood where a lot of old people lived who had been like writers in the fifties. So this nice old woman lived across the street from a nice old man. They were both widowed and they were kind of dating. And like every morning he'd come over and he had a key to her house and it was like, they would, Oh yeah. And they would like go on a walk (laughs) or whatever. (laughs) No. (laughs) Well, this one After morning, <laughs> this one morning, the guy never showed up and the old woman was like, what the fuck? So she goes into his house and he's decapitated <gasps> on the floor. What? Oh, my God. I heard about was this, this story. He was a writer a- for like Three Stooges or something. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, my this God. This guy had chopped his head off and then taken a belt and put it through his neck hole through his mouth and like a lasso swung it over the fence and it landed in a neighbor's yard. Yeah. And the guy got caught and all this stuff. So and he was like, I was just a comedian. I don't know what happened. <laughs> One day I just snapped. So, well, yeah, what's so that? It can happen to anybody, I I'm guess. I'm with all the ladies at book club, and they're like, this one lady that lived in that neighborhood, she's like, all this was going on on a Sunday morning at 8 a.m. just because this guy didn't lock his door, and I was having coffee Whoa, on the porch with my fuck. husband, and two doors down, this is happening. And I'm like, what if I went crazy one time and just walked into someone's house mm. that wasn't open and stabbed them? No. That's a different kind See, of crazy. That's you, you'd how, have to be, she, you would have to have a, a long-term like mental illness to yeah. be able to snap like that. You can see red and like punch someone or like maybe shoot someone in a crime of passion, but going to that type of yeah, degree that's, that's of what I'm murder, afraid of that'll just yeah, happen later that, that, You're not wired that, that way. Your husband right. should be worried yeah. because that <sighs> kind of premeditated st- homicidal stuff is like always someone that you know. Yeah. If you just snap, like that's you're gonna... fucking that guy must whoever did that crime had to have been on he was fucking like a drifter, drugs. right? Or like schizophrenic no, yeah, or no, something. Yeah. Schizophrenic. See, but don't they say you can get schizophrenic? Oh wait, I always do this, and I go wait. I'm in my late thirties. I'm in yeah. late twenties. No, it's like a time period. Yeah, that oh, was the biggest good. fear. When I because Scott okay. Thompson, I remember read an interview and he said that his brother had was schizophrenic, and I remember like I had this fear. For some reason, my fear is always based in like something that can make me crazy. Like when I was a kid, I was like getting bit by. Uh, something rabid and getting rabies. Like oh, the idea, okay, so you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, the idea of like being somehow forcibly turned, you know, possessed or turned. Like yes, even possessed, before that was demonic possession. possession yeah. yeah, yeah, demonic possession was my big fear when I was a kid, which is crazy because well, that's a realistic fear. <laughs> I think it's real. <laughs> Do you really? I don't know. I don't believe in. Well, anything, look, it could be. I believe, in de- I believe in everything and nothing. So yeah, why not? me too. I'm like you. Wait, yeah. Wait, so so so. uh yeah, so then it was uh, demon possession, then rabies, and then it was schizophrenia. And I remember reading there's a window like from 20 to 30 is yeah. when you're most susceptible. So now I always think like, oh, I'm fucking past the window. I'm not going to, you know, turn Yeah, into you're fine. Schizo. You're yeah. good. Now it's just dementia. Well, you're Yeah, you're okay. now it's oh. Alzheimer's. But that you don't go fucking. <laughs> you, you might. Know. Oh, my God. I can't believe that you're not scared of being the person who's at their house and just having someone walk in the door and cut oh, your head off. Oh, I'm scared of that too. But oh. I don't think about that. Holy I don't like shit. No, I, I, I heard that, that story. Kyle Canane told me that story years ago, and I remember just thinking, like, 
And whenever I get high, like, you know, whenever I get high, I'm just automatically thinking of all the ways I can die. You know what I mean? Like, oh. first it's like, your heart. I don't get high. Dude. And then, and then the other Which day, which is why I can't, I'm not, I like, I'm worse than you. So and then, yeah, and then, and then, the, and then I was like, it was the other night, and I get home, I'm just like, what if someone just fucking breaks? This is the one time when someone fucking breaks in, and it's the guy. Oh. Yeah, our deadbolt was broken for like a few days, and we just had the little crappy yeah. hand. And I'm like, someone could just come in, but I feel I don't know. I have this like weird other fantasy that I'll like kick their ass because like I'll get scrappy. Yeah. Do you ever huh. think like no. if you did that? Let's see. So you're Jen Kirkman. You're on Chelsea lately, and then <laughs> that happens, and then you do, and you kick their ass, and you win. Fame, and then, instant fame. Oh, yeah, are you be... worried like that? You're you're like it almost like being like a, how a reality show compromises your like artistic legitimacy. Like suddenly you're like, oh, the girl who who killed that serial killer. No, like, I think that that would she's help. She's on. She's a comedian. No, that would help. What's that, would that help. about? I wouldn't care. Yeah. That would Although help. Although it would take me off track for a while. People would come to the show the way that they came to Courtney Love's shows after Kurt Cobain uh-huh. died. Like just yeah, curious. Yeah. Like who is this? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Person. No, you'd uh, have to incorporate it into your act. Like, all right, who wants to get their ass kicked? <laughs> yeah, and I'd have like T-shirts that say like yeah. "I killed yeah. on stage," you know. Yeah. Uh, and when it was like a really famous, like it was like a Zodiac killer, and like it just happened, like he like sl- <laughs> he right. like slipped and like fa- you know what I mean? It was like dude, what like, are the slipped- odds? <laughs> He's still like, on the loose. Like yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. like oh, like I barely go to like, Long like, Island like, like, and, just, and set up a Craigslist. It was a famous. <laughs> it wasn't just some like random drifter like this guy. It was like someone who was like. Everybody in LA knew, like in Summer Sam, like everyone's like really tense about the fucking Night Stalker. And then he happened to break in your house and <laughs> happened to like slip during your tussle and like you got the upper hand and killed him. And like, so you killed the super famous serial killer. Like, oh, I thought that that was so real. And I was so involved. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry. Did you hear what she Did said? That scare he, you? She was so involved. And, but Justin thought, nope, not in no, this no, time. Believe me, it had nothing to do I with that. I actually, like, really thought I was doing that for a second. Like, <laughs> oh my God, I'm just farting. <laughs> See, this is, this is all ties into your issue. If you think you're going to kill someone, you think you're And gonna... then I fart instead. <laughs> Can I tell you, you would get two steps into the door with, with a knife in your hand, and you'd be like, what the fuck am I doing? And you'd leave. <laughs> I hope. Or maybe just one stab into the neck, and you'd be like, oh my uh, God. Well, no, that's no, that seems gross. That's like too shooting, late. Shooting someone would be easy for me. Yeah, oh, there you go. I couldn't. I couldn't. This horrible. is a totally shooting ridiculous, someone in the face. unfounded this is a dumb fear. Wait, what about demonic possession, though? Do you oh, really I'm think, totally afraid You really of think, like, and that's the worst, because, like, all of a sudden, like, it could just happen to you. Or at first, I think you'd, like, you'd piss your pants, or, like, you would forget things, and then, <laughs> you know, how does it start? It always well, starts you know slowly. Because, like, you know, when they say sometimes you go in a haunted house, and then suddenly you feel sick, and you have a headache, like, they're in, like, the ghost comes yeah. inside of you. Uh, yeah. That kind of stuff. I'm or afraid. somebody had the flu in the haunted house, and you <laughs> caught it. Or the house is old and in disrepair. Or just you filled with bacteria. Yeah. Yeah. Poisoning from the strip mall yeah. you just ate at. Sure, yeah. yeah. No, I'm not really afraid of it, but I don't watch demonic things. Uh-huh. Like, uh, like, you mean like uh, demonic saw. toys? Like Saw. Those movies are no, horrible. No, no, no. I never saw, saw is the, not a demonic thing. I never yeah, saw but The Shining. Gross. The pol- Poltergeist fucked me up. I never yeah. saw The Shining, and I never yeah. saw Ooh, Exorcist. Don't watch Paranormal Exorcist. Activity. Oh, the Exorcist. Oh, my God. Oh, I do. Parano- Sometimes I'm on the couch watching that, and then- No, 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 no. It's wait. not a TV show. It's a movie. Paranormal oh, Activity. Oh, there's a TV show of Paranormal Activity. No, no it it's called something else. Oh, Paranormal Kids. Paranormal Fun. No, I won't Paranormal Kids. It's Paranormal Kids. Also, deal with the paranormal. Normal, so yeah, 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 coincidentally, yeah, yeah. no, there's a great show called Paranormal Kids, and it's like kids, and it's it's, it's always like single moms, and you always go like, Uh-oh. it's always yeah. girls who see ghosts in their room of yeah. men, and you're like, uh, they had a bad dad who probably raped them, and then these weird stepfathers are coming in, and yeah, whatever. It's, it's it seems easily explained away by psychology, but yeah. it'll be these girls who like really see spirits and talk to the dead and whatever, and then there's a super fucking flaming gay psychic <laughs> who comes, so it's always in the Midwest, like it's always in like a cornfield, and the mother's like, yeah, hey, my daughter, she's just seeing things all over the place, and the girl's like, I don't have any friends because I see ghosts, and then this flaming guy's like, hello, and he like comes. <laughs> Is that he, the first thing he says? You no, like, no. Well, yes, and he works with the kids all week, and he's uh-huh. like, Tell, and he's a psychic too, uh, and he, oh but he's like God. very like Richard Simmonsy. It's the greatest show because what channel is this on? Uh, it's like sci-fi or something. But I, what I love about it is that like it's a part of the world that you think would be so homophobic, but yet when they're faced with the flamingest man, they don't even recognize <laughs> yeah. he's gay. Well, it's kind of also, but also like, usually it's not usually women in their forties that are fat that yeah. are homophobic. Yeah. I I feel like those people. It's it, the Borat mo- or the fucking Sasha Baron Cohen movies. <laughs> if anything, if they taught me anything. It's that when people are like blindsided with that shit they sort of just flip a switch and they're kind of just like oh yeah, it's <laughs> right, yeah, they're really fun. yeah, yeah, well, yeah. also also if you're if you're dealing with 
if you're if you really think that your kid sees ghosts, just like you know what, I'm I will accept whatever this guy's dysfunction is because I need my if kid it's to really be cured. Happen, and it, yeah. It, yeah. It, it, yeah. it is a dysfunction. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Having <laughs> yeah, having ghosts, being gay, seeing ghosts? being gay. No, oh, seeing I ghosts. He meant being gay. He meant being no. gay. He's <laughs> terrible. He always talks about gay. He people. hates no, you know, gay people. <laughs> he hates. Them. You know, it'd be great. What if it was a guy who who it was a show about about people who have gay kids and then they brought in someone like who's like dressed like this like very like not like <laughs> flamingly specter. like yeah like hello he's like yes, he's transparent my and specialty floating. is curing yeah. homosexuality <laughs> he lights incense yeah. and like does like Ooh, pray, yeah. Ooh, booga, 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 booga. <laughs> like the candles i will suck out the spirit of the gayness that's a great I mean, little yeah, flip a on that. Oh yeah yeah so that'd be get, a fun are you going to give me the garbage yeah. Jackie? somebody start Thank writing you. that where's Jackie going <laughs> Well, here's let's talk about not scary. Do you still have doomsday theories? Did I before? I just what remember. Was I, talking I remember. About? I remember when we were shooting that episode of Phone Sexes that you and like we were in Savan's kitchen and like oh, we're talking right. about like. Wait, let's just make clear. Phone Sexers was a channel. Channel one hundred and one show. I didn't want to say like we were doing. Phone yeah, yeah, sex. yeah. No, of course. Everybody knows what we're talking about when we say phone sexers. <laughs> no, they don't. Because With we talked about being telemarketers and temps. I want them to think like yeah. they had to resort to phone sex. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> after <laughs> phone sexers is a channel one hundred and one comedy short. Check it out. Uh, I forgot it was episode. In that. Ten. I don't know which don't one know. Jen was in. I Four. It was, in it was Jen and and uh, Abed and Dan and I. If you listen to the show. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. That's okay. right. Oh, that's right. That's right. I forgot. Hey, yeah. You are. You're in a good episode. Thanks for mm-hmm. letting me be in that. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Did that? How'd that? Would that do? That for helped. Your that helped the most. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait. So we, oh, yeah, we were talking about doomsday. Yeah, yeah. You think like I remember at the time anyway. I don't no, know. No, I was changed. saying as a kid, my mom told me the world was going to end in the year 2000. 2000. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Wait, so you don't? I thought like we were one of this whole conversation. How you think the world's gonna end and all this other stuff? You're like, listen. No, I don't up. think it's. I don't. I think we're at the. My friend and I were talking about this. Actually, this guy I used to date, and then I ran into him. Well, I didn't run into him. I saw him in New York. We're both comedians, and we were talking, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm kind of where you were, like when we used to hang out all the time. Like, I I do think the environment is on its last thirty years yeah. tipping point. Like, I it's think done. That. It's that there's the people. My friends are having kids right now. Like their kids will not be healthy. They will not be able to eat anything. Like you can't have kids. Like you just. It's can't. not even. Oh, it's not even environmental. It's also just ec- uh, the economy. Like yeah. Justin basically just, thinks that every it's like a perfect storm. It's, I it's do a too. population explosion. It's, yes. It's a environmental problem. It's the way that things are being run. Uh, uh, monetarily, like with with our with our printing money out of control, it's gonna be like a Mad Max type thing, which a movie just, I and, never and saw. And it's gonna be a House of Cards where just a few are gonna fall, and then the whole thing is just gonna. And collapse. then we're just gonna be like planting things, and we're, we're gonna, gonna not do? gonna have we're not gonna have money, we're not gonna have weapons. Correct. It's gonna be beautiful. We're gonna be like well, hopefully. I feel like There's it would be a lot of weapons around for I a while. I feel like though. it would we be won't beautiful. Know how to do anything with them it so. would be beautiful if the population wasn't so out of control. Yeah, no, it'll be just mayhem. I don't know. It's gonna be fucking insane. I but I, you know I be, I'm once, not worried about it though. Really? Yeah, Why? I mean, no, because it's just a body and it's just a soul. Like you're what? Just, what is this? I don't know. I just don't feel that way anymore. I just feel like I'm you not religious, healthy. but I'm kind of spiritual. Yeah. That, like it just it's all it's like it's all it's all temporary anyway. It's fine. You know, what my theory was I'm not kidding. I was I was thinking this sincerely. <laughs> you're healthy. I, I mean, <laughs> you're mentally healthy. Very good. Well, not in my own life, but uh-huh. like uh, for big oh, things for like this. Oh, for the world. Yeah. Oh. Very Welcome healthy. back, Jackie. Jackie went it's, to go excuse yourself to go to the bathroom. It's not my fault. Take a big mic. I, well, I was waiting, and then I was like, I don't know. You're waiting. Maybe I have to go. Poops. For what? Like, it's freaking uh, Dodger Stadium in there? And then I didn't want to come back in and then excuse myself again. So I was waiting and drinking water. Then hopes. Okay. And All that's right. why. Anyway, I'm the point is, I, 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 I didn't want to come back in, interrupt, and go, oh, now I have to go. After 15 minutes of the bathroom break, I walk in and I see her <laughs> talking to your sister, like, just well, casually. I was trying to in drink the water kitchen. down, hoping okay. it would push it out. Anyway, my theory is she just, she's like, I don't want to go back in. That's there. not so true. I didn't want to interrupt that's a second that's time. A yeah, that's, yeah, right. That's not true. There's no conspiracy she there. She got a warning. You've got on a record. Um, so I so, might have to excuse myself. So, the, the, so the last night I was thinking that my my new grand philosophy on how to deal with because he'll scare the shit out of me. He'll say, he'll, you know, even though I'm like I, I pretend I'm very like. By the way, skeptic. gold fifteen hundred an ounce. You're too scared of things. Uh, very scared of things, but I but I'm much less scared of things than I used to be. Like two years ago, I was like fucking terrified of everything. He'll bring things up. He'll go, oh, the fucking society's about to collapse. Or the economy's about to collapse. <laughs> and like, and I'll go, shut up, Justin. Like to him, but then me and I'll be like, what if he's right? What if Justin's right? And I really will kind of go through it eternally. Five minutes. But the point is that last night I was walking, I was sitting like, so I'm pretty happy now, which I've heard is a detriment to the show for people to listen. Like I'm actually happy. Like oh, I got a job. I got I got some. You know, like, yeah, he's not you know, that things happy. Things are things are happening yeah, you're like, not a little happy. bit. Yeah, he's happy, yeah, but, but really, he's really grumpy. Yeah, I'm really grumpy. And you're just neurotic, and that so, won't change. So I was thinking, I'm like in a cosmic sense, like like being an American. Being a 34-year-old American in 2011, 
um, working in show business and actually having a job, like like in this moment, like it could all change, you know, next year. But in this moment, I'm like, this is like, th- that that's the best life to have. I mean, I'm sure there's people that are like, like Seth Rogen's life is better. You know what I mean? Right, but you're in this very small upper percent upper of people percentile where I'm like, I'm in America. I'm, yeah. I'm 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 the Nintendo 3DS shit. just came yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, all this other stuff. I've yeah. you know. I've got a girl I'm dating. I, I kind of have a, so for this moment, however long it lasts, things are pretty good. And I was thinking it's sort of like in the in the in the span of the cosmos of like time. Like it's like it's like having it's like the the, the briefness of an orgasm. Like it's so pleasurable for that moment, and it's right. gonna probably there's gonna be the moment afterwards. It's gonna suck, and everything before that was sort of tense, and then it builds up to. It. But right now, it's like being alive at this point of time with all this shit that's available and all this stuff right now. Yeah, it's fucking ecstasy. It is, but you should be, like, not a boat that gets thrown by the waves, but an anchor. Like, I'm the same no matter what is going on. That's what that temping in the windowless mm-hmm. room taught me. Wait, did you read any books? Like, Oh, you... I read everything all the time. What is your favorite, like, I like to read Dr. By? Wayne Dyer because he collects he? all... Thing? He's been writing books for 30 years. He collects all... What's his big famous one? I, he, there isn't one. Anchor you know, no. in the waves. <laughs> <laughs> what does he think? He's like Tom Waits. It's like, they're all good. They're all no, good. No, no, I'm saying the if one you seminal. don't know who he is, you won't recognize any book name. Yeah, yeah. I, I'll, I'll know the name. Give me one of his, big, give, him, give me his. Uh, don't put her on the spot. I actually don't, I can't think of, yeah. I'm sorry, I can't like, think of Like, get in just touch with one. the real you, happiness, like one of those kind so, of titles. Yeah, but he, it's, it's, he just collects every spiritual leader from ever and just gives the stuff. It's all just about mm-hmm. like, it's oh, just Jack let, of all letting trades, go of, huh? he, yeah, I mean, he's oh. he's a good compiler. I mean, I'm not going to say. Do you read uh, Eckhart but, Tolle? Oh, I'm not no. that into him. I'm not that into him. But this guy, we'll talk about like Ram Dass and people uh. like that. I'm not that into Eckhart Tolle. It's fine, but it is sort of like that stuff. But I like more just like being of service. It's all just be grateful. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Those are the best people. Like, because that was the thing. When I got religious, it was like, it, when you realize like religion is all about like, fucking teams and like everybody else is wrong and then you fucking realize you're all saying the same shit right right you know yeah, everybody is Jackie why don't you start reading some of these books yeah what the fuck peace. is wrong with you and, and say it into the microphone whatever you're gonna say <laughs> yeah <laughs> whatever negative horrible yeah, thing yeah, you're yeah. Gonna say. well Justin downloaded that thing and I never listened it to it doesn't anything I'll email you I'll uh, email yeah, you um, okay, okay. of course uh, you never listen to it nonfiction does so you just escape? Non-fiction. You've never thought like I should read. Oh wait, nonfiction is what we're talking about, though. Don't you want to go oh, and no, find no, no. some I mean, sort like, of self help? No, what I mean, uh, like World uh, War Two. Uh, yeah, biographies. Oh, I love biographies. biographies. I know, but right, you're so who's miserable. Who's the cutest biography? <laughs> 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 who's the cutest biographer? The best yeah, but you can't bound force someone into, into. I don't like into, it. That stuff. Why not? I didn't used to like that stuff, and then I did, and maybe she will, or maybe she won't. Is it because you read a self help book? And you're like, this is so gay. No, 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 no. So, Not Jen, at all. You're gonna... My mind just uh, drifts. <laughs> Jen, you're going to be okay when the econ- this government collapses and the economy falls apart and our dollar so here's the thing. I used to gas be... is $50 a I gallon. I used to be and terrified of war and grocery terrorism Grocery stores shut down. You know, when I was little, it was like, we bomb Libya the way we did now. It was like the strategic strike and it doesn't really affect us. And blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And, and I, my mother was like, oh, my God, the world's ending. Everything is horrible. The world's ending. Nuclear, going to die, going to die. And then here I am, like a young adult living in New York City on fucking 9-11. And I yeah. was fine. I wasn't scared at all. Because when something happens and you're not the one in the building, you're like... Why would I, your brain can't even get self-centered or neurotic. You're just like, how can I help? Or how can I just sit still? There's no, so to have gone through that moment, I'm like, there's nothing to be afraid of. Yeah, yeah. I am afraid. I mean, I would not be pleasant if all that shit happened to the economy and the world. But I feel like. I'm going to just move to Canada. Well, I always look at like. I feel like our bodies are meant to die without us being. The white light, that whole thing. That's uh-huh. just your brain. What does, do you think that is? It's your brain going euphoric. Shutting down. Uh-huh. And so you think that no matter how horrible death is, like there's going to be that euphoria, yes, that chemical fine. euphoria. you would be fine. Oh, they right. do say God, that I need too. To like people who were tortured <laughs> Help uh, me. before they died, uh, you go, your body goes into shock. So like if you were that mm-hmm. guy who's being decapitated or whatever, like moments before that even happened, he went in, he was dead. Like he w- went into shock and he he didn't have to actually live through all that. Pain, oh, yeah. You kind of go. I don't know if that's true. That's what I numb. think you might, no, it you is. might learn to, even though you're atheist, like uh, I don't believe in a God or a thing, but I'm, I believe in stuff. I believe, I believe in a higher in power. Stuff. Yeah. I believe, I, like, I could say prayers. Yeah. You know, I don't even have to believe there's anyone listening. It's just good, uh, good feeling. That's a good belief. No one really wants to have Nobody a does. Listeners. Yeah. <laughs> we don't, yeah. yeah. Oh, you're, you're saying Sarah, we don't have listeners. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> no, we've got a healthy amount of listeners. If a tree falls in the woods, <laughs> uh, whatever it's called. Um, um, so, uh, all right, well, that's good. That's I hope good to everyone's hear. not like fucking hate. 
to, no, no, fuck no, that. Fuck you guys. I'm um, mad. I'm yelling at the audience. Really? Because <laughs> really there cool. are some, you know that with enough this listeners. There's, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, look, I, I think that Jen's made it clear as of I that, you know, I, I, I kind of don't strictly believe in any one particular conspiracy but i'm very open to the possibility of any of them being yeah true. why wouldn't you be why yeah. what about ufos jen i believe in that too jen i have a conspiracy well go ahead oh no that's but the only thing that's been disappointing me lately was i did see a thing about how hitler and his people were designing these discs mm-hmm. and Ooh. that we got the technology and that's kind of that's, oh ufos are an inside job well in the sense that they're really just this weird technology that we've all been working on and maybe it's kind of private because it's something we got from the Nazis and that's like a shame. <laughs> but so, we got Fanta from the Nazis and well, we flaunt that. Hold on, that's hold on, a, hold on. The thing with UFOs... I'm afraid that they're not real, but I really want to believe. They're totally real. And furthermore... Here, there are saviors. I was no, excited no, no. for WikiLeaks and they never came through. Anyway. Can I tell you something? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they were supposed... Yeah, by the way, I, the, somebody no. told me like, listen, dude, seriously... Supposedly, the fucking the one that that uh, what's his name is holding Julian Assange is holding on to is fucking UFOs. That's his insurance policy. Yeah, yeah. And at a certain oh, point, it's gonna come through, or Obama is gonna make an announcement. <laughs> right. Okay. He well, did have a meeting with President Sarkozy about UFOs a couple years ago. Dude, yeah, go UFOs are so fucking real. Do your research, and you'll know that I'm right. But here's the thing: <laughs> there was an article in Wired magazine about. It. Anyway, go ahead. well, it, well, I mean, that's the least of credible resources you could look. No, at. No, but they but were they were people from the going military. Going to Joe's yeah, yeah. UFO military, blog. The, the, uh, one of Cl- I can't remember the guy's name, but Clinton's like one of Clinton's main advisors and now he advises Obama d- had a speech they have a they have a thing every year now where they have these guys come up that are like totally credible and they're basically saying this shit is real and it's time we fucking you know but but the point I'm trying to make before you, you know what in, fuck it I believe it because you know why I remember like all this stuff about global warming and stuff I'm sorry do you want to make your point no go ahead I was gonna say I, I decided to do research about global warming and I, I, I literally it was simple research on amazon.com I went through every book that was anti-global warming I swear to god basic like fucking lazy research not not Woodward and Bernstein shit I went through <laughs> every book I found that was skeptical of global warming and I looked at either who wrote it or who the publisher was and I swear to god I traced it all back to a think tank or basically something that was employer funded by uh, big oil it was and it was so easy to figure that out like right, it wasn't right. that it wasn't that hidden it was clearly like Big Oil gave some money to a think tank or a publishing house or an, or a particular scientist and just said, yeah, just just you know, write a book that's supportive of of, of this being bullshit. Oh yeah, sure, okay, and so oh, it's interesting. Like, so it's like so so it's and that's that's not a conspiracy theory. That was just yeah. like me sitting there for 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 no, half that's an actually hour. a thing. Yeah, yeah, and it's like so so I I believe it because what happens is there's if there's an agenda, there's enough people. Are your eyes glazing over, Jackie? It's your fine, eyes it's glazing fine. Over. Go, no, you're staring off like you're in okay, a coma. Well, well okay. if, if you're gonna bail, I'll okay, no, yeah, no, no, I'm saying no, no. The point is. Is that if there's an agenda, there's going to be people who are going to go like, even though it's obvious to everybody, like, yeah, clearly global warming is real. There's going to be enough people with the money and the power to convince, of course, enough people. Now, like, I don't know what the motivation is for covering up UFOs and the alien thing. I have no fucking idea. There's a billion possible explanations, from the craziest to our government is run by aliens <laughs> and we're sheep <laughs> being hurt. Like I said before, but I do have a new fucking. <laughs> Oh no! How'd that that was me doing that to myself. <laughs> um, I do have a new theory that is like so fucking insane, and I think it might be true, and it's it's very crazy. <laughs> I love that. It's so fucking insane. <laughs> it just might be true. Well, okay. So here's oh, what I it is. Oh, I love it. I can't wait to hear. Here's what it is. So so. Uh, I watched a, a, a speech on the TED conference, whatever it is, like <laughs> uh-huh. a guy talking about biogenetic engineering. Mm-hmm. And he basically went through all the steps of, of, of where we are now and what we've been able, what we've been capable of and where we're going to be in the next 10 to 20 years with biogenetic engineering. And, the, and we're actually at a point in, 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 in our like abilities to, to create completely original new species Completely from thin air, based off, based off of our uh, understanding and, and okay, okay, so my, my gods, and we're able to change and and tweak and play with human, uh, like like our, our we're able we're able to directly affect our own evolution, like superheroes. No, but oh. but but like if we want That'd forearms, cool. we can. We, we're no, not let's too talk. far. We can talk about exactly. it. Exactly, yeah, we're not yeah. too far off. Like okay. we, we, we can. Oh oh, this DNA strand affects how much. Wait, much wait, okay. wait, what's your yeah. theory? So my theory is this. We were fucking designed genetically by aliens. We, <laughs> as a race, were fucking de- de- genetically designed. This is great. And we were, we were, we were put on this planet, uh-huh. and we've been monitored by aliens uh-huh. ever since. They've uh-huh. been checking in on us uh, th- throughout the history of mankind. Because yeah. we we're essentially saying. we're essentially a fucking ant farm, is what mm-hmm. we are on this fucking living planet. That would planet. be great. Right? So every it time there's a sight, people, people believe that 
that's what we are to God, why yeah. would they not be able to handle it about aliens? There yeah. you go. And, and they say like the, the God, like the Bible, it's like when they talk about angels, they're really aliens and all the other stuff. Yeah, and you so want to talk about like the technologically, <laughs> I think it's uh, fun. the leap mm-hmm. in technological savviness it, it, that these aliens must you know, have a grasp on to be able to, you know, zoom around in these fucking discs like we see them do. How come they can't be invisible, though? They probably are most of the time. right here. But the thing is, they're <laughs> monitoring room. us because we're their, cre- we're, we were created by them as an experiment. Why did they let acceptable TV get canceled? <laughs> <laughs> Where were they? I don't know. Boy, their hands are really off the, But uh... I like all the stuff I hear, but they found new Earths in, in the atmosphere. Like, there's other planets that can uh-huh. sustain life like we can that have oceans and Oxygen. You mean in space, like in the in, in the, the yeah 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 no, and we're getting closer we and get closer there, to to discovering all these. Let's fucking get on planets. the other Earth and start over. Yeah. yeah, well, that's the goal, right? Well, I think as soon as we started that, the aliens that created us would be like, ah, 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 ah hold on. Well, they, wait a minute. Wouldn't the aliens start doing that with nuclear war technology? They have Whoa. been. There's there's have evidence. you heard about those stuff that, that every time there's a nuclear power plant, the UFOs are flying around it and it shuts down. Like they're trying to say stop the shit. Well, what it is is why when don't they, they have just a, say stop the shit. Because they can't talk. Uh, Stop with the hints, aliens. First of all, if we're your experiment, enough, we're, we don't pick up on subtlety. No, no, they're they're they're, they're going to off. stockpiles yeah. of nuclear weapons and they're disarming them all. That's uh-huh. that's what, actually like they're happened. going like little green men are breaking in. At no, night. no, the UFO sightings are directly linked with that. That was the uh, conference that yeah. happened at the White yes. House in October that I read yes. about in Wired. Yes. Wow. And God. that conference is taped. They did a two-hour special just the other day on the History Channel, and the guys that were speaking, I did some research on some of them. Like, w- like some of them are fucking totally legit. They're not cuckoo fucking conspiracy guys. They're like upstanding, like military, military yeah. fucking high that, level see, dudes. Here, here's the thing. Here's another if theory. If you just I have. Google military, Jackie, Jackie, come UFO. on, you have to have an opinion about I'm this. I'm listening. I'm just listening. <laughs> She's not listening. listening. If you just Google military UFO disarm nuclear weapons, all these articles would come out. Well, here, here, here's another conspiracy. I have. Do you think that there is an agenda? Knowing how manipulative like the the public relations industry can be and propaganda, do you think there actually is a conspiracy to sort of cultivate like skepticism against these people like cuckoo cuckoo yeah, the I government's think so. like ah we're tricking I think them. there's everything yeah yeah totally it's all just a crazy but, fucking but mix. why and everything yeah. and nothing why they're they're against us knowing this is completely that's the one piece of the <laughs> puzzle the only, the, when why go, anyone would be against us believing in aliens it escapes me well when well, people no, go what, it would what, take down every theory? major religion I go well wouldn't the religion just go oh yeah it, God made aliens yeah like it'd be easy well that's to, what I mean I did not like the movie Paul but they do kind of touch about that like there's like this like it's, there's a character who's super religious and like they oh, deal with like her being confronted with that and like her dad just like totally just like yeah. somehow folds it into like the myth like oh well God did it you well know, I mean I was Paul. raised Catholic and I believed as a kid in God and aliens my parents believed in both a lot of religions <laughs> why, have already I, mean, I don't know why a lot of so religions weird. have already sort of co-opted the alien thing oh, shit, into I their run. Oh, okay. Oh, okay all right well well that um, was uh, oh I didn't why didn't, why so didn't no 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 no, no oh, I mean why didn't why didn't the aliens like uh, you know <laughs> beam us... you away <laughs> if they're real um, <laughs> all right well Jen uh, thank you so much for much that went off the rails at the end I'm afraid no it's okay it's fine what are you afraid of what are you afraid are of? You okay? No, you can put anything I've said on oh, okay, the Okay, okay, cool. Are you well, sure? No, we're good. Yeah, of our, course. Our, okay. there, we have a big group of fans that love that kind of talk. Oh, so good, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what? If they don't, fuck, fuck them. Fuck them, yeah. Them. yeah. yeah. Tune in next week for more farts. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, Jen Kirkman, thank you so much this for- This was so much fun. Okay, give See? us with a, with a hand signal how sincere you were that it was so much fun. It's just so much fun. It was so great to hang out with you guys again. I, my hand went beyond. It went yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You snapped your wrist. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Well, okay. And it was so right. nice to meet Jackie. Yeah. I'm yeah. a new, I'm a yeah. new Jackie fan. And then this really? whole thing. Oh, you're joining a legion. Well, of watch Jackie out fans. for aliens yeah. out yeah. there. All right. <laughs> All right, aliens. You hear that? Laughing Skull Lounge, April. No, I don't. Think May. Make sure you show up. You May. said Atlanta, Georgia. Uh huh. Okay. And kidnap and and no. do experiments and make we, pro- we deep reprogram Jen's in brain. Fire to a in killer. the sky. <laughs> oh, the Atlanta. That's why it's not a silly thing to mention. But you keep talking over her. Oh, yeah, I'm Atlanta. Sorry. Come on out. <laughs> Come on, Atlanta, especially you aliens. And Atlantis, because Jen believes in everything. Yeah. And, and the people that caused 9-11. And the See Jersey Devil. All right. All right. <laughs> and the people that caused 9-11. <laughs> <laughs> It's time for listener email time. Are there any for me? I'm so mad at you, Jackie. What do I do now? Because you're giving me shit. Uh, Just so everyone knows. You shut up. Uh, Uh, Everyone, listen up. 
uh, Ryan got a job and is acting like a little baby and like I'm so tired and we need to make this <laughs> podcast quick and it's 1030 and I get shit for it being 2 o'clock in the morning I have to be up at I, 7 I try so hard to be good to you um, I, I pretend that I'm sexually attracted to you uh. I bring you Listen candy. Listen to email. <laughs> um, yeah, I, he had to drink a uh, five just, hour. He was like, Justin, do you have any five hour energy drinks? Yeah. I'm so tired. Jackie, I have never asked for, for one of those. Do you ever think those. that maybe the need for five hour energy and him being tired is completely disassociated with the fact that he's got a new job? Maybe he's just fucking tired right Maybe now. I'm oh, just okay, fucking no, tired. No, he already started by saying, I'm a working man like Jackie now. Like, you don't no. know what kind of work you I do. You dug your own grave there. What kind of work do you do? Tell her you you're tired. No idea. Tell her you're tired what? from having sex. Oh, by the way, real quick. Quick, for everyone out there listening, uh, let me just really quickly get out, get this out there so it's not weird. Oh. Dan O'Connor is sitting in for the uh, listener email. Yeah, who's Dan O'Connor? Dan O'Connor is, is a, a friend of the surfer. show. Uh, professional surfer. Professional. Uh, surfing father of one. With the stars. Surfing with the stars. <laughs> Possibly and, the worst surfer in Southern no, California. I doubt that. And he's uh, uh, a storyboard artist slash animator who I've known for many years. What show are you? Ricky Gervais show, right? Ricky Gervais show? Ricky Gervais show, Mr. Sprinkles. Yep. Uh, he did a ton That's of That's how great you met Justin, right? Courage the Cowardly Dog, way back when, stuff yep. like that. But more importantly than that, I'm involved in a searing love- platonic relationship <laughs> with Jackie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're friends. Would Better you, friends than any of you. Would you date Jackie if you were single <gasps> and not married with a kid? I, Jackie's You're got hang a lot of trouble about money that my <laughs> bank account <laughs> could never really, really acquiesce. I mean, th- there's... <laughs> That's about oh right. My God. Hey, Jackie, I'm starting to make money now. You know, uh, I mean, yeah. Why don't you on. ease off? Yeah, maybe. Ease off. Uh, I went to a strip club with Jackie. Uh-huh. That was me. Does that count what? as a strip club? Does, yeah, does that Jumbo's counts. count? That counts as a strip you, club. You, can't, you can around. barely sometimes see their I, boobs. Listen, I had a hard on. So you had a hard on. Definitely, you can't even get a hard on. <laughs> Oh, all right, all right, all right. I love that you all just right. quoted that. Uh, let's dive in. Oh, you guys are such good friends. First huh? email. We are. All right, well, guess what, Jackie? Me and you are going to go to the track together, and we're going to have yeah. all this kind of- We are going to go to the We're going to have track. all these inside jokes and all this stuff, so- That was your quote email. About it. That was another state of <laughs> mind, right? right? Come on. Yeah. Okay. This first email. All right, fine. Listen to your email. First email. Here we go. <laughs> Dig real deep, Ryan. Live show, question mark. Okay. When are you guys going to do a live episode in front of a live studio audience? When and where? Jackie's new coworker, Mike Chillian. Ooh. Oh, Mike. Um, I, I've, I have brought up Moore's in Burbank every time somebody writes in about a live show and all Justin says, well, I've got something planned. I've got something worked out. We're going to work it out probably for like an anniversary special. Every single time I brought up right, Moore's. Well, here's what I have to say about a live show. Don't hold your fucking breath. <laughs> well, we are coming up on the year anniversary. <laughs> well, I'll say this. Of our t- podcast. God. Before we do a, a live year? show, we'll do like a crazy fucking thing before that. What? I feel like a live show is just going to be the fucking worst. Why? You, you were can't excited it? about it before. I can't fucking deal with so it. Because you're so ugly. You don't want people to see you're what right. you really look like. You're right. No, a it, big it's, fat, it's, so. it sounds like it, it, it harkens like AM radio. Like you guys are going to be all up there in front <laughs> of your like, store yeah. banner. <laughs> yeah, that quite, sounds great. Isn't that, isn't that, it's, it's something about it just fucking, I, 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 it's it's unsettling. Did Howard Stern ever do like? A, yes, a, and those are my most hate. I hate those episodes. We should do one. The whole time you hear the crowd <laughs> screaming and they're, they're they're not on the best of their game, and it's like it's just a fucking whole different dynamic. That and sounds good. I mean, look, if you uh, here's what I would say. I would say this. I would rather do some sort of cool comp- contest. Oh, because that was well. Like, imagine this. Like, we did the fucking the Nintendo 3DS contest. We got all these great entries, and then it was sort of fizzled out, and there was no real climax like what if we did that contest but then the big climax was we had a live show where we played all the entries everybody got to vote live on the winners and then we also oh, like a channel 101 thing? kind of like channel 101 yeah and then like there was art an art show all the best art of that's been featured uh podcast art over the year like you know there's so many things you could parlay into one giant great night where we don't have to sit up there and entertain like monkeys. Like we could be there, oh, so be this loose. This wouldn't be recorded for broadcast. No, I mean, th- part of it could be. We could do stuff, but like none of it. What would do be... you think we're doing now, entertaining? Yeah, but like, if you, for yeah, but it's different. We're in the fucking comfort of our own home. There's not a goddamn prying thousand eyes on us. <laughs> You're afraid. Are you afraid <laughs> of Dan, people You're hating taking. You? I hate people. I've got social anxiety disorder. I'm if, fucking agoraphobic. If you do it somewhere else, you're taking one of the elements out of it, which is this room. Yeah. What it's if like, we it's had like a fake room? It's like letting a baby room? gestate. 
outside of the womb. <laughs> That's right. It's like a preemie baby. What if we set up a stage that looks just like this garage? Oh, it's like well, Pee-wee's in that Playhouse. Case, ah, <laughs> Jack, that is the best idea you've ever come up as with. As long as oh, I'm not too far from my toys. <laughs> no, I'm serious. We'll get like we'll get like people to do set design. And yeah. just, like, the curtain Christ. will come up and like it'll be like one of these plays where um, like, you see the walls of the studio and it's. <laughs> I feel like yeah. if we do toys. a live show, it's gonna be. It can't just be us moseying <laughs> in. Ah, right, what's what are we gonna talk about? We're gonna have to fucking plan and no, we work. Why, would we, we why would we have to plan anything? Because, we have never planned a Because show we're gonna ever. have however many people staring at us expecting it to be good and then to be entertaining. Maybe we should no, sit no, up no. and be quiet. I got an idea. I got an idea. Jackie doesn't understand how much editing goes into this yeah, fucking yeah. show. Oh, you guys edit it? <laughs> yeah. Because they're, they're two hours long. I when mean, was... it seems like you just press play. All right. When was the last episode you listened to? Yeah, exactly. I told you I made it up to five. <laughs> Come on, you're I may. I no, swear to God, no, you were deeper than that. I so you, swear on the. I don't know. What do I to, believe in anymore? Yeah. I swear on, on uh, all the veterans of World War II and right. all the Mike dead Strang. people. The corporate five. I made it to five. I swear. And then what? You lost interest. I you was like, do, I can't listen to this shit. You should do a mobile show from like inside a van and drive around LA, <laughs> and then there's now always something. There's always something to talk about, and then and then you can even. Like I don't know if you could do a live stream or whatever, but people could see you on the road. You know, yeah, tweet will tweet, and they could give you the finger. It would be the secret symbol that you're listening that they're listening to you. It would be the secret sign. I've got a better idea. We're gonna do a live show, but it's gonna be more like like a play, uh, where it's gonna be like a real performance. It's gonna the curtains are gonna open up, and it's gonna make this whole set where it's like this garage where you see the Simpsons. He was a young man, and everyone, and and then like, and then Justin will walk out like. Boy, oh. sure is a beautiful day yeah, here exactly. in my garage. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, okay, next email, please. <laughs> and then, like, ding dong. <laughs> oh, I wonder who that ding could be. Dong, 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 dong. Hello. Door opens, <laughs> and it's like a guy in a Mario costume. Yeah. <laughs> it's you doing the pre recorded pre- voice. Pre record. Yeah, oh, my God. <laughs> You know how much fucking work and rehearsal and oh like my God. that would I, I'm way far too lazy to ever <laughs> do anything close to that. <laughs> It'd be pretty fun. All right, next email, next email. please. Abed and Jackie is a subject of this oh. email. Oh. Hey, it's Kevin Jones from Phoenix, Arizona. Yay! I just want to say no I relation w- to Kevin James. I want to go to prom with me. What? I want Jackie to go to prom with <laughs> oh, me. Well, way oh, to go. was there a spelling error? <laughs> no, it was a, a speaking error. Uh, and wait, no, wait, Justin, wait, can... I don't. Oh, go ahead. Want her to suck my dick or have sex with me, and I Ew. want Abed back for another episode. Ew. You you added that last line. No, I didn't. Oh. You swear to God, you didn't. I didn't, because he's he's preempt. He knows where your mind's gonna go. So he wants to go to prom with me. That's awesome. Yeah. In fact, he wrote another email. Recently, uh-huh. a couple days ago, and I just Wait, realized. Wait, hold on! That you realize that we're doing the Jen Kirkman email segment, which is going to air one week prior to the next episode's email segment. I'm Therefore, so confused. Okay, I'm well, so can confused. I just simplify it for just, you? Okay. Nobody knows the dates when these are I, sent. I, 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 we're doing two email segments. No. Okay, the, I'm the, reading ah! another email. Hold on, this email segment that we're doing right now. Uh huh. This is going to be the first in yes. a sequential order of two yes, that I are know. separated by a week. I know. Therefore, read the oldest ones first. Don't re- don't. I just, okay. Well, the new one was sent yesterday for yeah. Christ's sake. But that's <laughs> sort of isn't that? I don't, am I? Am Maybe I, they're supposed to be. Okay, just fine. Put okay, them he together. knew that. He, yes, he knows what I'm he's doing. I'm sorry. Them together. Okay, okay. Because sorry. that. Email All right. So that we'll I pretend that, that it didn't you, come yesterday. <laughs> Okay. All right. And you're, you're no. gonna edit all this out. Justin, yeah, yeah. Well, no, maybe no, I won't. No, I no, 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 no. The email I just read was from February. This one just came yesterday. But he's asking the same thing. He's clearly okay. being. So he's still going. Yes. So it says, "Hi, okay, well, I'm uh, Kevin Jones from Arizona. Clean, and I have to clean do something. in. Jackie, will you go to prom with me? Do a cl- do sure. a clean in on that. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm gonna cut no. all that out. Oh, no, no, no. You're not gonna. No, cut all please that out. let me. No. Because it's all this information to our listeners it's too much for them to hand to oh, be able to deal with bleeding. They're, it's gonna be like scanners <laughs> like don't it's gonna be like halloween three what is the pro- <laughs> just li- five li- more days till halloween <laughs> halloween, <laughs> halloween. <laughs> All right. What fine. is the problem? The kid wrote two emails in the course of two months. I'm reading them both together because okay, I'm well, just trying to show how my he is. thing is do that, but let's cut out all the references that I mistakenly. Why not leave it in to show everybody what an ass you are? Just go on to the next email. Are you going to go with the kid? Yeah, you're going to go. Sure. With... Yes, I'll go. Oh, God damn it. Are you being serious? He lives in Arizona and he is underage. 
I'll, mean, is that really going to happen? I'll pay for half How old ticket. is he? How He's old like is he? 13, 12 or 13. If you do, okay, here's the big question that everyone wants to know. If you do go to the prom with him, will you suck his dick? <laughs> <laughs> Next. No. No, I'm not going to do that now. Don't. <laughs> Next. Butt sex. Hi, my name is Jared. This is the subject. What is wrong with these people? Hi, my name is Jared. I'm 15 years old. My friend Kevin, who's emailed you and uh, you read on episode 27 suggested me to listen to the show back in January and I didn't listen to it until this week and I really liked it. I laughed my ass off at the farting. Yeah. Oh, vindication Good. for Justin. Vindication. <laughs> and the Mr. Scoop skit. I love that little one. Keep up the good work and ask Kevin if we have any science homework. Aww. Uh, Kevin, uh, shout out. Yeah, you, got, you guys got any science homework this week? <laughs> this 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 email was dated April first. Yo yo yo, Kevin. Hello. Do you have Do we have any science homework? All right. Okay. Next email, please. Right. Boy, you're really rushing along, huh? Yeah. Well, you know, I'm just trying to fucking mosey it on through. You know. This email is I'm sorry. What? Okay. That's is all caps with four exclamation marks. Okay, all right. Marks. Well, fair enough. I'm deeply sorry for allowing Justin to fall in my hole. I guess this must be referring to Minecraft. <laughs> oh, yes. And not tell him to uh, to to. <laughs> Wait a minute, Justin. Be careful. You're gonna fall in Alejandro's <laughs> other hole. Yeah. Or his other hole. What? Oh. Hold on. I, I'm not <laughs> sure what you're. Uh, mixing board. Uh, oh, this hole. Mixing board. No, oh, the mixing board thing with the hole. <laughs> well. Oh, Jesus. Uh, you mean this hole? Oh, help me. <laughs> oh, no. Did Alejandro make that hole? I'm in a hole now. <laughs> oh, no. Justin. Listen, guys. Yeah? You know, Alejandro, he built this deep hole uh-huh. with lava at the bottom of it. Are you it. mad at him? Yeah, because I was sitting there. Wait, can I just seriously just <laughs> sell the story, like, okay. really quickly? Yeah. I'm fucking building my house. The first thing I commit to building in this fucking Minecraft server that uh, Mickey Sarge... Built, uh, paid for. Yay. Okay. God Shout bless out. his soul. And uh, his living soul. He's not dead. Um, <laughs> and uh, I keep getting harassed by this fucking kid. I can't even remember what his name he's is. Alejandro. He's, he's Al- awesome. His name in the game was like Alex something. Mm-hmm. Hey, Justin, can I have more 26? Why are you doing that Hispanic accent? Ooh. Because I'm fucking <laughs> racist. <laughs> no, because I don't know. It was the first af- the voice that came to my head. Hey, Why? Justin. Why, though? No. Uh, I need uh, more 26. Because <laughs> in the game, there's codes uh-huh. or numbers for all the items. Oh, like cops. And I'm a god in this world, and I can spawn anything. And he uh-huh. kept wanting lava. Uh-huh. I'm not sure what number that is. But he kept saying, I need more lava. <laughs> I need more lava. And I'm like, all right, okay. I gave him lava. Here you go. Here you go. Mm-hmm. And uh, it got to the point where it was like every fucking five minutes, this kid was asking for fucking lava. And I'm like, dude, just I, finally I said, how old are you? I'm 12. Oh, I figured you were probably about 12. All right, no more fucking requests for items. I'm busy. <laughs> I'm ready like, to show. Okay. And then he left me alone, and then he finally came to me. He's like, hey, come here. Come look at this. I want to show you yeah, something. I love this kid I'm so like, much because it upset you. I'm like, all right, okay, what do you want to show me? So he leads me off in, in this little fucking you know, path, and I'm following him. <laughs> and he's like, go, go, follow me. Go down. Go down here. I'm like, all right. So I go down this fucking la- – it's like a big giant hole with glass on the top. And I'm like, like going down the ladder, climbing down. All of a sudden, boom, ladder ends, free fall. I'm falling. Fucking boom, hit lava, dead. All my shit gone. <laughs> Everything eaten by lava. I ha- all my-, my guy had a full inventory of shit that I had to fucking create and spawn and work <laughs> to make. Uh-huh. And I was like, he, you I, know, I, killed God. You know, I he wrote, killed God. I wrote him. I added him after the last time that you complained about him. Yeah. I added him immediately as a Facebook friend and wrote him. And I was like, keep up the good work. Uh, yeah, so well, then he wrote back. He's so cute. Somebody like that he's can't be trusted to be loose on our <laughs> server. He'll, he'll, he'll destroy things. Well, he goes on to say that uh, obviously he's begging and promising and pleading that he's never going to do it again. And he's also saying that he wrote an email to us four months ago and was never on the podcast. Oh. And, uh, All right. Okay, fine. So, we'll hey. unban you. You're yeah. back in. <laughs> I'm serious. I hope I, you forgive me, Justin. Sorry if there's any grammatical he's errors. He's a good boy. You it, should like him. He's your people. He's a little smart. No, I would have yeah. done the same thing when I was his Of course you would have. I would have been causing all kinds of problems. So I'll else. tell you what. I'll bring you back on. But the, but the only reason why I'm allowing you to come back on is because now we have all these fucking filters and mods that don't allow bullshit to happen. 
Uh, wait, so you worked to be the strongest character in the mine? No, oh, we I didn't did. work I at didn't, all. I didn't lift a finger. All I did uh, was say, we need a Minecraft server. Oh, so you got it for free. You had like a, a character. Well, a, a, a listener of the show started it and then and gave and then you everything gave for me, free. Gave me the powers. And then he burned you. No, no, another kid. A little kid did. A little this guy. Kid oh, did. you should have him on the podcast. I know. Alejandro. I wish. Alejandro. Well, once I figure I mean, out how to do I mean, Skype, which no, I, just call him up. No, I know, but I, I have a, I have a thing. I need to he just figure it out to do it that through the. That kid will just fucking. Oh yeah, baby. Justin. Speaking of racism and racist voices, uh, when are we not speaking about that? Well, we Maybe talked about it earlier. Your, your phone uh, did we in the Jen Kirkman episode? I'm confused about what episode. Okay, well, why don't you not do a callback just to be safe? Jackie, S your mouth. Oh, my God. That is so stupid. Okay, um, start again. Jackie, S your mouth. No, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay, did you notice on, uh, that the guy... Um, uh, who, I don't care his name. Uh, he wrote. He drew a picture. Brandon drew a picture of psychic abilities. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he drew him black, and it caused quite a stir. Did it? Why? Yeah. Why? What did people say? Because they're like, oh, it's like, oh, you just assume psychic abilities is black. Oh, people I always are thought just he making was making a joke. I thought he was black too. Really? Yeah, I well, hope he's black. Only, only based off of other people's artistic interpretations of him. Like uh-huh. Chris Pierce drew him black too. Uh-huh. Nobody said anything about that. Uh huh. So I, I was, I just assumed it was. I mean, I never said he was black. I just sort of defaulted to what the listeners assumed he was I black. I wonder if maybe we, he could tell us, because he is sort of like, he's like a dark, he's sort of like kind of those ambi- ambiguous ambiguous shade, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm not sure what he That's is. That's but... even more racist to me. You mean like a mulatto? Well, I'm saying when he comes Jesus. in, when he comes in here, I'm not clear what he is. I just, well, I just... Hope, hopefully he's out there somewhere. <laughs> I just wish maybe we could ask him what his race Jesus is. Well, listen, Christ. I'd like to take this opportunity as a black man to uh-huh. say that <laughs> I'm not offended that he's drawn yeah. black at all. Yeah. So See? there you go. He's and also, got a lot of and black also, friends. You don't sound black. You sound totally like a typical white guy. Yeah. I know, and I grew up in Watts. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, you know what's cool is like <laughs> Harry Potter. I bet the white people are gunning for him to be white, mm-hmm. and the black folks are gunning for him to be this black. This is a real race war. You're yeah, because they're like, I want psychic abilities to for be white. my team. Yeah, and they're like, I want him <laughs> to be. It's like black. Obama. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like everybody wants him to be there on their team. Yeah. Well, I want. I just wish, man. I just wish there's some way we could find out. And I don't blame asking, him for that sort of by like, asking psychic abilities stuff. Yeah. You know? Oh. Oh, what? oh, geez. <laughs> what a coincidence. What an odd coincidence. <laughs> well, I, don't, I mean, I don't know. It could be Jack Nicholson. I don't want to jump into conclusions. Hold on. Hello? Hey, yo, what's going on, yo? <laughs> it's me, Psychic Ability, yo. Wow, were your ears ringing? Oh, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> All right, well, Psychic, I don't know if you pay attention to what's going on. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo. Oh, man. <laughs> he just goes right into it. <laughs> yo. What race am I? Yo! Oh, you knew. I'll tell you right now, Of course, now, he's psychic yo. abilities. He knew. Yo, I'm psychic abilities. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> Here we go. Uh-oh, white. Chinese, yo. Uh-oh. Uh, C's, yo. Hey, Timber the Lee's, yo. Uh-oh. Chinese. Hey. I think, I think he's saying he's Chinese. Timber the Yo. Walking in the Timber the Yo. Are you Chinese? Are you Chinese? Uh oh! White! Uh oh! Black! Yo! Oh, Black! Hey, yo! Talking about that! Uh oh! Puerto Chinese, Rican? white, black! <laughs> oh, he's like Tiger Woods. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> yo! I'm walking around the street, yo! Trying to get a taxi! Uh oh! Nobody pulls give us over, the yo. Yeah, he's obviously a man of color. Cause I'm Chinese, yo. <laughs> oh, white. You undercut all Uh-oh. our presumptions. Black. Mexican. Armenian. Chinese. <laughs> Korean. Mexican. German, yo. Uh oh, hey, Mexican. Chinese, yo. Asian. Mexican. All right, I gotta go. I'll see you guys later. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to read into things too much, but I think that that was pretty great. That answered yeah. all the questions. Yeah, I think we that Psychic Billies is trying to teach us a valuable lesson. I think that he's it, sort of every race. Yeah, it doesn't really yeah. matter what he is. But I, but I think he might be black though. <laughs> okay. I think. I mean, was I'm it just, the beats that tipped you off? I, I mean, is I don't know. Rhythm? I mean, I'm just. Just I, I I mean I I have no inside 
track on it. I'm just saying yeah. my personal opinion. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Next email, please. Oh. Last email. This is the last one. Thank you, God. I better make it a good one. Last email. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking hot in this fucking room. Welcome to the summer. Remember? All right. All right. So okay. this is the last email. I'm going to make it a long one. Oh, oh, Jesus God. Christ. Uh, Look at that. Look at all that text. Oh. Don't do that. Well, look, Jackie, our listeners, they, you know. God, Jackie, you are a mic, miserable. You... Yes, I don't deny that. <laughs> okay, go. What's the last email? OG go. fan that you barely know. Okay, come on. Don't wrap it. Just hey, you... fucking read it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you Please. guys. I've been listening from the beginning, and I'm really pleased with all the guests you've had on your show. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, well, I'm glad we could pass what? your muster. I interned at Image Comics what? and I am majoring in animation. I interned at Image Comics. No, you were saying. You know what like, I noticed, oh, when Ryan? He's like saying I liked all your guests, and then you said something like, "Oh yeah, Hold on. Well, thank you very much." Or I've noticed that make this. Any sense. We never know who writes these emails or where they're from. I don't know if that's you or the writers. I think we should tell people when you write an email, start out. Oh, with, I see. Okay. Hi, my name is Flappity well, Flaps. They don't. Do. They from don't. Floopity they Floop. don't write it like that. Okay, well I'm telling them right now. If you write a fucking email. You Read say, it. I'm this Read person it. from here. And then you go and talk about all your bullshit. Now, God, go ahead. Tension in this Now, room. Ryan has to dig in and fucking Ryan. figure it oh, out. Okay, this is from Jenna. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's a man or a woman. All right, Jenna. Jenna is a woman. Okay. okay. From? Hey, you, it doesn't say. All right, well, we'll have to fucking detect that with our detective skills later. So, Jenna has been listening from the beginning and then she... He or she is very pleased with all the guests that we've had on the show. Uh-huh. He or she is intern at Image Comics. Oh, that's cool. And is majoring in animation. So as you can tell, your guests have been really fun to listen to. Dan? Uh, yeah. You're in animation. I'm in animation. Jackie's in animation. And yeah. Justin is in animation. And we know a yeah. lot of people in animation. <laughs> okay. All right, very good. Jackie, I've been smoking since I was 17. And trust me, using stress as an excuse will only keep you smoking. Oh. oh great. Then lucky for me then. All my life will end sooner. Oh, okay. I, oh, Jackie. Jackie smokes. Dan, you yeah. as her platonic friend. She's toying with it. Friend, why don't you help Jackie a little bit? What she's t- are you taking up smoking now yeah. at this point in your yeah. life? Yeah, why? because yeah. I've been so good so far. Uh, another chip in the wall. His friendship's hey, crumbling. Don't say that. He's not f- wrong. It's a filthy, filthy, disgusting habit. <laughs> and she has a, she has a death wish. Mm-hmm. You know it's a better habit, hmm. especially for girls, dipping. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> or uh, drinking cum. I couldn't. Yeah, I've Justin. heard a rumor. Jackie, you have a death wish. Uh, um, I'm just. I just don't care. I guess. So What's like, do I want? I don't want to be. I don't. Hmm. I don't know. I used to worry about dying and stuff like that, and I don't give a shit. You know what's sexy on girls? <sighs> Apathy. Yeah. <laughs> Said it, true. yo. <laughs> I okay. really don't care. You've got, she's got her apathy outfit on right now. Yeah, Look at that I jean know. jacket, Denim leather sleeveless. boots, <laughs> friendship bracelets. Yeah. Doesn't give a fuck. I don't have friendship bracelets. So you're she painting the picture of a lesbian. A I bet you don't even own a bathing suit. All right, what? continue. What else does the email say? Uh, I have tried to quit four times and going back to because of stress. I'm 25 and cigarettes have made me feel and look older. If I quit, I could still say my good luck looks. I have seasonal asthma because of it, and I certainly constantly need to clear my throat. I'm going for the fifth attempt at quitting in the summer after I graduate because I'm too stressed now. Wink, you should quit with me. There's a really good book that will help you quit smoking. I don't remember what it's called because I gave it away to somebody. But uh, um, I gave it to Willie Roberts, I think, because uh-huh. he started I'm not, again. I'm not addicted, Jenna. Not yet. No, I'm not. Um, uh, Denial like just a river in Egypt. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yo! Oh! Uh-oh. <laughs> I like this track. I haven't heard this one uh-huh. yet. Uh-huh. <laughs> yo. I'm not addicted, yo. I'm a summer, yo. Oh, this is a PSA. I'm not addicted, I heard of it. yo. I'm not addicted, yo. I'm on Hey. I didn't smoke a cigarette. Uh-oh. Oh. I like the other one. I'm not addicted. Wait. I'm sorry, Psychic. Cut uh, the beat for a uh-huh, second. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is this your anti-smoking song or your pro-smoking song? I can't figure it out from the lyrics. Is it here? Oh, let me ask know. it like this. Let me ask it like this. Is this your anti-smoking song? Oh, uh, you know, you, you shouldn't smoke cigarettes, yo, unless you're talking about gotta smoke it, you know? Cause you gotta do it to be cool, and you need it's cool. It's uh, pretty cool. Okay, so this is a pro-smoking song. 
you shouldn't do it, but unless it's cool. Oh, not good. <laughs> I got it. Smoking is cool. Oh, uh oh. Got it. Get out of school. <laughs> this isn't helping, right? Get out of school. <laughs> Yo, talk about Psycho Billy's 1980s beat. Yo, here we go. Talk about smoking. Hey, yo, you gotta quit smoking. Yo, it's pretty cool. <laughs> hey, yo, you gotta quit smoking, yo. Yo, it's pretty cool. Uh oh, some of them don't. Yo, let's move. So hey, yo, pool party. Uh oh, some of them don't. Are home. people smoking at the pool me. party? Can I go home? You guys gave me permission <laughs> to go home. <laughs> Can I please? No. How much longer? No. Literally five minutes. Are people psychic? Are people smoking at this pool party, or are they not smoking? I don't know. Oh hell it. yeah! Is it because they're making fun of your smoking? No, it's not even that. I'm just like oh, I can't. I can't do this. Like, Jackie I'm needs too. a five hour energy. No, all right, I let's wrap it up. Let's okay, wrap it up. All right, let's all right, wrap it up. All right, all right, all right, fine. Okay, where are we here? Uh, seriously, Ryan and Jackie. The way I found out about found all of my dates was just approaching who I thought was cute. If they rejected me, I think to myself, oh, well, we could be friends. And if they were weird Who's about this person? it, then Is fuck this the them. same person? Yeah, yeah. yeah but, but she's got a good point here. Or he. It's a girl. What? Jenna? Yeah. I don't know. Hey, you, hey how's it Jenna? going? My name's Jenna. I know. What about Bruce Jenna? Boy, no, boy named Sue. <laughs> Okay, continue. What else did she say about dating? Just go up to someone uh, and then fuck like them. them. I don't need someone in my life with some social hang-up. I'm the one walking away, and they are the ones who made an ass out of you themselves that, for being a snot-nosed douche. You hear that, Jackie? Don't waste your emotions in someone you don't know or is not worthy of caring about. I wasn't listening. <laughs> See? <laughs> God, Jackie doesn't even care about the people that love her. Come up to the Bay Area. I know. I said I love Jenna. Some. I think she's rad. Oh, and I'm right, well, glad she's an good animation. Save, I bet she's really Jackie. cute. I said that from the beginning. Well, it says it says but here. Don't, I mean, I even I, though she's got a fucking uh, a hunchback. <laughs> a lot of people are giving me advice. It doesn't matter. I know it's the right thing. I know all this stuff and all whatever. Like I'm, I'm in a fog. She's so kind of fucked really up, matter. Jenna. All right, really well, a, there's an invite come up to the Bay Area and he or she will help us get some. Oh, oh. get some what? Xanax? Ass or can dick? I come? Can I come? But Depending I don't need to, on your I don't need to get any. Preference. I just want to come and hang okay. out. I love your show and I laugh my ass off. Cheer up, kids! You have good friends and happy fans. I won't go into the constant crap of my life, but in the words of Dennis Leary, happiness comes in small doses. Love, right. love, love the show. Aww. Big hugs all around. Jenna. Yeah. P.S. Okay. I missed the one time only character cunt smasher from the episode of Abba. Oof. I don't even remember that. I'm really? glad I wasn't there for that. Oh, ugly, do. ugly word. You don't remember cunt smasher, Justin? <laughs> <laughs> it's starting to ring a bell. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So um, that was listener email. All right. All right, everybody, that was episode 32, the Jen Kirkman Spectacular. Um, thank you to Jen Kirkman. Thank you to... Whoever did our listener Jack. art. Jack. 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 Oh, Jack. He's oh, yeah, a yeah, Lego yeah, yeah. maniac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack. Jack. Yeah. Hold on, let me just... It's Jack Cusimano. That's how you Jack spell Cusimano. it. Jack Cusimano. Do you remember this one? He's really I great. I love Billy. I love Tony. But what I love best... Is when Billy and Tony molest me. <laughs> uh, Jack Cusimano did a fucking amazing yeah. episode art, and thank God, thank you for to him. Um, I want to thank uh, Crocky again for the psychic abilities beats, especially that new '80s one. I want to thank all the races of the world. Uh, I want to thank every human being who is an evil, um, and who has a kind soul and heart, uh-huh. and who would help their fellow man. I want to say uh, not thank you to all the people who are mean. Who are making this world a harder place to live in. Yeah. Like um, we need to thank uh, 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 Philip Smith. I made that up. That <laughs> person doesn't even exist. I'm sure there's this Philip uh, Smith I'm, out there. <laughs> I'm giving Justin the stretch. The producers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Dean um, Helton and Sam Lembeck. Seriously, go into iTunes and rate us. Our producers? Fucking, oh, yeah, of course, Dean and Sam. Please go into iTunes and rate us. Don't be a stupid piece of shit. Join our Facebook page. Join oh, the Facebook page. Oh, boy, you get so much more out of the experience. I don't even give a shit if you show. do that. That's your loss if you don't. I'm just saying to rate us on iTunes, and, and if you want to get updates, join the Twitter feed. And that's it for this episode. Thanks we'll see Dan you O'Connor next week. Thanks, Dan O'Connor, for sitting in. Thank oh, yeah. you, Dan O'Connor. It was nice having you here. Yay, Dan. All right, next time. All right, y'all. That was episode 32 all wrapped up for y'all. 
thanks to Jack Cusimano for this week's episode art. We know it was a long time coming, so sorry the show's up so late. We got all kinds of soups in the pot just brewing away. Don't forget, please send your emails and episode art to grandmasvirginity at gmail.com. Rate us on iTunes, please. It means a lot. And it helps give us motivation to get episodes up in a more timely manner. Get some Facebook action at www.pigsarepeople.com or www.facebook.com slash the GVP. There's a whole cyber boatload of happening stuff going on right there, y'all. Hey, like my Facebook page, too, at www.facebook.com slash big voiceover fun. Oh, yeah, y'all. Thanks to Dean and Sam and everyone who's helping out with the best of show. And thanks to Jesus Crips. And thank you for listening. We're going to see you all next time. Bada bing, bing, bada, 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 b